ladies and gentlemen and everybody of non-gender defined titles. Welcome to Combo Breaker 2023 here at the Renaissance Schomburg Convention Center. I am so happy to talk about this lovely, fantastic game, Dumb is Fighting Herd. I'm your host, Black Diamond, the one of two great hosts, my better half right here, the queen of Mortal Kombat, the PlayStation aficionado, goddess of <laughs> online play, Saki Sakura herself. How you doing? How you doing? Hello, everyone, and welcome again to Combo Breaker. It is a pleasure. This is our first time commentating I know, together, Black right? Diamond. I am extremely excited as this is also the first time we get to see Dems Fighting Hurts on this stage. Last year, it was only on PC and one was one of the actual ads during the Combo Breaker reels of last year's tournament mm -hmm. uh, to actually promote the fact that it was coming out on consoles. And guess what? We're here today to see that action happening. You know, one of the things that this tournament has really shown out is the fact that many of these players really were thriving online yes and were. it's only just been this year that they have been kicking butt and really showing off how cool this game is it's 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 great to see that a lot of offline events hosted mostly by majors primarily uh get to show these players who don't often travel for other games play for instance asiago really only plays in uh he's in uh, the player two side i believe he really gets to only travel to mostly like frosty faust things which is also in the same state as you know combo breakers so it's really their only time to get to play herds offline uh, Asiago being a Paprika player, first at CEO Taku, second at NEC, you see I just lied right there, he's already going to Philadelphia and Florida. Uh, fifth at both last year and the year before is Frosty Fausting, and ninth, didn't even make top eight last year here at Combo Break. I think doing a button check. Absolutely. Yeah, doing a button check, yeah, yeah. While his opponent, the lone, oh, I'm sorry, the lone is player two, said Asiago's player on one side. The lone, also Paprika, uh, teleporting God with his command grab from that level three at Scary as hell. I played him online last weekend. Ninth at Grand Stampede Online, 13th at Grand Stampede in 2020. So it's seeing these guys only really play on online PC tournaments coming out to combo breaker to play is this really a match i thought they were doing button checks it's very funny enough yesterday while i was commentating mortal kombat i was noticing that people were like doing dishing out like full-on combos during the match but if this is so this is a paprika mirror this is already rng craziness you don't know what's gonna happen because nope. paprika is literally that character and just look at these gorgeous Warner. combos and look ko already in the like blink of an eye you know what i bet you money they probably still doing a button check right now this is just <laughs> off show <laughs> but paprika being a crazy pressure character with a lot of teleports as you saw almost a deadpool like teleports in marvelous cat on three but jumping from the sky being funky and crazy with these corner combos look at him pressuring so now the apple is a trap now is. as player one is in the corner if he ate the apple press a he would be stuck in an animation and thus can get pressured now he's setting his own trap look at that teleport it's almost like glacius and killer instinct where he can set the plant as a hail and then teleport side to side pressuring the opponent to figure out which way to block and that was a usage of the level level one super actually keeping the meter as well for Asiago. but it does look like the loan is just beating it up right now as this is a great hard knockdown to try to get the cross up he put himself and, in the corner though my goodness yes this is not where you want to be against no. paprika as she can just do whatever ooh, here ooh, ooh, ooh. no reset yeah there it is the, the trap there you go he's trying to jump out of it so he doesn't press a Good, good, he's out of the corner. But right back in there, the lone is getting smoked right now. And that's game. Ooh, whoa, it, it whipped. Well, no, it whipped. Ooh, that could be really detrimental. No Ooh, Asiago pushing him out. He has to block the other side. Oh, the chip damage though. I did not account for the chip damage. I thought he could block from the opposite direction. Yeah, that was definitely gonna be costly. That was actually the perfect opportunity for DeLone to actually come back with the own, I would say wall-to-wall -wall pressure, if not corner combo. Yes. But unfortunately, it just didn't work out too well, and that will go to Asiago. But Jesus. this is a great start into the air grab. That teleport did like a, an eighth of the damage immediately. Oh my goodness, that pressure. Ah, 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 with the trap. He's gonna drop him with a reset, and then he has to not press A. Light, he didn't do it. Teleport, why? Okay, mixing him up. You know, it, it definitely confused me if I were to play alone i also would be confused as to what i just saw because he put himself in the corner to take asiago out and cross country into the next corner and that's level two. Oh my a goodness. perfect ko the first Jesus. perfect ko here at combo breaker and this is what your top 16 is going to be looking like it is just this non-stop and that's what makes them signs heard really awesome to watch the amount of execution that you have to dish out 
when you're playing these characters to really make it to that top level play that we're seeing here. And not even just that, even if you don't have the execution, as long as you know how to pressure and trip up your opponent as Paprika. As you can see, because Alone came with a perfect that round, but he was losing, now he's losing his whole house, dish back his own perfect. Asiago, don't drop it. Okay, there we go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's, wow. it's, 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 you know, that's the, that's the hood perfect. We call it, like, call it in New York Dragon Ball. It's the hood perfect. Not quite there, but you don't see his life going down. It's fine. It's good. Good. Final round. Not one sided today. Delone is trying to get his match back. Oh my God. Just literally teleporting right in front of him, giving him kisses. Give him the sweet, <laughs> the sweet kiss. Oh, oh my God. Command out. grab. Oh my goodness. And he gave it back too. He's like, come here. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Lows. Overhead. Ooh, ooh. Trap. Ooh, the cross up and actually the patience there from Asiago to actually trip the loan up in this moment. And we are going to go into the super level. And there we're going to go and dish out all of that meter to get the picnic basket out and all the randomness happening right now. The best part about that picnic basket, it is just a scare tactic because if he were to help from the picnic basket and were to hit, it does a random amount of damage. It could be one, it could be your entire life bar. You will never know. And it's just a scare Asiago from not doing anything. <laughs> okay, the recovery and the actual wake up option to go for the meter burn. And there you have it, Asiago taking it over the loan. My goodness. To and it was crazy because he was facing the right way. Punished the super with a meaty medium, I believe. That was a, that was definitely a standing beef and still lost. Yeah. Really honestly, when you're looking at how them's fighting hurts works, right? You have the pushback option, which was really crucial, especially mm -hmm. throughout the round yeah. as well, because there was a moment where the pushback actually pushed uh, Delone backwards towards the corner. Mm -hmm. And when Delone actually tried to advance, Asiago was just ready for it. And that's like the, uh, it's funny because I was playing in my pools yesterday yes. and I was just seeing the level of like defense. It's not even offense. It's just the straight up defense that was just happening between those two. And wow, what an insane match. What a mirror match to start off here at I our know, top 16 right? on the winner's side. So <laughs> it is interesting because seeing Delone not really doing many offline events, mostly just Grand Stampede, uh, has really no record on offline events, maybe outside of locals, mm -hmm. but uh, to see him come up at Combo Breaker and just smoking everybody. Now, Indeed. I'm unfamiliar with these two players specifically. I had to, I gave up my, I think that's Suplex Plus. I'm pretty confident that is. Uh, looks like he's nodding his head in agreement. So that <laughs> means he's playing Ranger Doge, which I have no knowledge of whatsoever. I went and looked up as much information as I can as a player, and I couldn't. And all I could find for Suplex Plus is he's a fantastic Dragon Ball player. Uh, he was actually, I think he made first in that Among Us Arena game here at Combo Breaker specifically, and at other <laughs> events. That so, would explain the sus on uh, on the uh, there. Oh, won the medal as Yeah, well. there it is. There is the medal, yeah, for the, uh, the Among Us. Yeah, there we go, there we go. <laughs> we ain't playing Among Us. This is them fighting her. Yeah, you can, you can nah, yeah, 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 show off the goods. Yep, the it goods. is the Among you Us better Arena. Get, you better get that same medal for her. I'm just saying, brother, you out here, you out here ready to play. But don't drop it, all right? Now, there is a little bit of extra info about Suplex. Did mm -hmm. play in last year's bracket, was yes. in 17th place. So, definitely already making here to top 16 is yep. the improvement. Uh, one of the things that I love about Combo Breaker is that all of these players, again, coming from online, not really having the most offline experience, they're doing really well, um, seeing how it just transitions nicely. And then, of course, Razor Dodge is going to be that, like, Unknown force Super actually hit. being part of this bracket, and it looks like it's going to be Tin, uh, Shin Hao with Strong Love. <laughs> now, I know that uh, Suplex is a part of this All right, there you go. That makes sense. Because I know that Suplex is a predominantly Arizona player. So I was like, all right, I prepared to see the cow. But I had no idea what the underdog is going to give us. The Razor, sorry, the Rain Sore underdog. I love how you said Razor because it's like. Hmm. The Z's there. The I'm Z's sorry. There. It, it, it threw me <laughs> off. The Z's hit me with a brick right now. My goodness. Now, Strong Hoop is actually one of TFH's most recent DLC characters. Oh, yeah. And I have heard many things. Literally, the Viking horse, uh, probably one of the most strongest characters, definitely has been dis uh, discovered. I think it was Linkster that actually did some YouTube videos. Uh, really touching on the character and how he plays. Yes, and it, it's crazy because you don't often hear uh, a DLC character coming out a month before a major and then he's allowed to play. And that's okay, another bunch I could think of. But uh, it, it's weird to see that Strong Hope gets to be played here at Combo Breaker considering he's only been out for, at most, as of today, four weeks. And wow. with the tech and the damage he's been throwing out, even Sasha, 
Black, uh, Black Atlas in bracket was like, you know, I'm just going to throw out Stronghold because he's Uncle Bunga. I could do some crazy stuff with it. It, I, it, mean, it, it I can get away with murder at this point. <laughs> if you think about it, comparing um, Shin Hao with uh, Stronghold, I mean, the only thing that's the difference is that Stronghold is a heavier character yeah. compared to a more range, not going to say range, but close up, versatile movement character, which I think that this is going to be something to keep in mind, right? If yes. this is not exactly what we're going to see in the match, except really more for uh, Razor to be uh, playing Shin Hao, that's where it's going to be really crucial to apply that pressure up close and personal while also getting the, the execution that needed with that character. Of course, of course. And since now that we see that he is playing Arizona, he's not doing the strong up. He's not going to go to the Unga Bunga route. I mean, there is a mild, a hint, a smidge of Unga when it comes to Arizona. But that's just if you're playing mid-range with the Stomps, as would Bubble Boots or Java uh, Morrison play. Wrecking. Let's see Come, what Suplex power. can do today here at Common Break. Fight. Fight. Here we go. We're going to start it off now. Arizona is also a crazy Look character just because that. of that stomp right there. And also can lasso you just non-stop to really create this really back and forth crossover situation right now. And it's insane because I knew for a fact that the, the, the stomps can definitely get Tianho in min rage. So that way he has to play by Arizona's rules. But, you know, Tianho will definitely get back into that. Oh, my goodness. And no that rope. is an armor move, I believe, that we yes, just saw from is. Suplex. And this is where you're going to see the pressure and actual corner damage happening here, creating the knockdown situation. Tries to go for the short hop, but instead, Razor Dodge, Ra Razor Dodge is not going to fall for it. Doge playing with the one brain cell that Tianho players all share, pressuring him in the corner. Letting him go, though. You know, just give him the space. Just to make sure he plays not in the air. The rope will catch you in the skies, my friend. She will drag you down. But this it's okay. is a no fly zone. No fly zone. It's not not approved territory, my brother. Now seeing suplex, what can he do to change up? Ooh ooh ooh, and deal with Tian Ho's pressure. Is it gonna be heavy ash? So yep, and then it's a low high mix up. Low today. I watch Black Atlas. He does the same thing, making you think I'm gonna hit your toes in your head, baby. I'm gonna grab you in the corner. Watch it. Grab. He's gonna do it. He did it, but oh, he takes the grab. But it's fine, because guess what? Tiamo gets go right back in. And I don't know how to tell you this. Oh, it was a perfect. Not anymore. Not anymore. Arizona overhead set up with a short hop. Put the rope down. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Tries to push Black back here actually twice now. Not going to be able to do so, but creates the space he needed. There Has we to go. For go. The, six feet. the flat B in the air, let it go and cross up with yeah. the aerial heavies. Tian Huo takes a round over Arizona. You're not a warrior yet. This it is, is a you good uh, Tian Huo for sure. So now Tian Huo's always have a game plan, you know, pressure with aerial moves or lows. Which is gen it's very generic, it's very generic. But when you see a 10 hole player play, you know as long as you, there we go. You know as long as you time it, you can definitely make your player with their aerial moves. But it doesn't matter because Arizona is now pressuring. It looked like there was like a fuzzy block. What a great Ooh. usage of the super Ooh. and actually able to launch perfectly to create the more optimal damage from this moment. And this is going to be a great setup for Suplex as this is going to allow this full on back no away there, and go. then going for the mix up on the low. He whipped the aerial B so that with a second hit would be missed and then he could hit him with a low. The, the, look at the amount of damage just like straight up there from Suplex. That was insane. Jesus Christ, Arizona. You're too good. You're too... No, she's, she's a perfect amount of good. She, does, she needs this meter. She needs this damage. Tianhua, on the other hand, needs just a little bit more, but I'm not here to talk about Bucks or Nerf. I'm here to talk about Suplex taking the game over. Razor, sorry, Ranger, that name is gonna kill <laughs> my god. Interesting enough, you mentioned something about uh, Tian Ho being very much conscious of the aerial movements, like we see here. Obviously, in the corner, less of a chance to happen that it'll whip. Uh, this is gonna be something really important to keep in mind, as you're gonna need to be able to make sure to create that. Actually, able to catch the roll yes. from Suplex, Ooh. but Suplex is the one that's gonna take dominance over the corner. And now there's that pushback this right there from Razor. This is a song and dance between these two players trying to get in and out of their comfort zone. And you see even Razor Edge had the hit from the aerial heavy, still dashed away, and then came right back in. Now, Suplex was not ready for that. It was ready for that definitely grab, attack grab. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's going to get punished by all oh, he did the... I know it's called Gun Flame in Guilty Gear. I call it the Gun Gear. I can't help myself. It is beautiful. I love that move. They definitely take a lot of homage from other fighting games, and I love them fighting hearts for that. Now, back in neutral. Oh my god, the Arizona just, you know, neutral jump. 
medium. No, it looks like a heavy, actually. I can't remember. No, it is definitely the medium. It's two hitter. Boop. I like that uh, Razor is trying to really not whiff too many buttons, but actually try to catch uh, Suplex from trying to anti-air or actually push out a button. And look right here. Now there's this corner carry oh, into the ground. Out. Oh, actually rolling out, but still, this is pressure right now against Suplex. Ooh, they are. They definitely didn't know who was going to hit what. They're scrambling in the neutral. But now we have Ten Wolves putting it back. Ooh, in the corner. He's going to do the air command grab. No, he's going to do... Level one, not still hard knockdown. Ooh, no, sorry, it's a fighting knockdown, not a hard knockdown. Doing the drive, so with Tianhu, her meter is used for this jump action called drive. Uh, she can instant air move forward, and then, you know, throw out jumping medium, punch, or jumping medium, I'm jumping heavy, I'm thinking about speaker right now. Jumping heavy, so that way he can, they can change their timing of when the arrow moves would hit, and thus make him change up high up the block. Interesting Tenwell. enough here, though, Ranger Dodge actually tying this up right now against Suplex 1-2-1. One one. Of course, of course. And we're just hopping right back into it with these two. They do not want any time to breathe. They just want to go straight into the match. Ranger Dog using all the powers of all the brain cells of every Tenwell player, sharing in one moment to get past top 16. This would get them, I believe, in the top 12, right? In losers bracket. Actually, they only need to win one oh, to be able to get winners. the top eight. Yes, this so is the top eight place. Before, we had uh, Asiago actually make it into top eight. Now, yeah. this is the match to be able to get into it. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, Could what an air it. grab there. And actually creating the corner, allowing Duplex to back off just a little bit. Tries to go for the Ooh, overhead, no. but catches it. And there goes that low into the stomp and trying to catch the recovery in the air. Now, definitely had to try to get out of that situation in a very fast air movement, air mo mobile movement. Worst case, we can definitely end it with the heavy ash, putting him in the hard knockdown. Grab her low, grab her low. It's a grab, baby. We like it. Yes. And oh no text this time either from Suplex has been trying to get through those texts. Was like two for two and just fell for it. The drive aerial B again. Very strong instant air dash movement. Look at that. Oh, he knew the counter was coming. And guess what? Still got through. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that and armor. The armor move. Ooh, that armor almost still got away with it. But Tianhu did take the game. It didn't do that much damage. To be fair as well, the armor, you're still getting damage. You're just not getting stopped exactly. and getting into hit stun. And that's the thing here that Suplex was trying to hope for, was probably able to get the kill in that round, but wasn't just able to succeed there. Watching Tianhu put more pressure. Oh, the cross up. That hitbox is so big. Even if she's still in front of your head, her tail, I'm sorry, her legs won't be. Oh my goodness. Ooh, ooh, that again, the drive aerial B. That's a strong movement. Only she only has two bars to use it. So when she has it, you gotta watch out because she will use it. Slide knockdown. There we go. We do it again. Okay, what's gonna do now? We're gonna do oh that aerial drive. She probably wasted it uh, that far away. Ooh, okay, okay. I love Pressure. those push blocks there from Suplex, timing them super well. Yes. Does get caught in the recovery of the getting up animation. And now Ranger Dodge able to continue the combo and be going into the super, but it whips completely. No. It's not movie time, my friends. She dropped the combo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, no, she dropped the combo. Suplex going down to losers. Ranger Dog making it the top eight winner side for later this afternoon. My God, you, you see how strong the the Arizona play at first definitely was taking the cake. She she. Who's making it her game, showing that, you know, I will grab you from the air. I will do my armor combos on you. I will hit you out of everything. I don't care if you have drive, but Reigns a dog. Get in the Gekidama. <laughs> Getting the energy from every Tianho, that guy. That player. was a bit of a scramble in that, those last interaction for sure. And Very much needing those hit confirms. Oh, definitely. Especially for Suplex, who just did not have enough health. And that was the perfect opportunity to continue, but unfortunately that does happen does when happen. you try to go early into that super. But regardless, what an insane match. So that will put Ranger Dodge going into top, top eight. eight winners. Yes, um, yes. And that is where we have, so we do have our two places solidified and our next match I'm will be showing off soon. I'm pretty sure second. this is Bubble Boots actually. I'm pretty confident this is Bubble Boots. And if that means that Sector 7 noob, I have almost no details of Sector 7 noob because I don't see them often in many different tournaments. All I have is they have placed 17th at Comic Girl last year. I didn't see him play, so I don't know what we're going to get today. He did get 97th at Grand Stampede. Another online, it's pretty much like the, the Capcom Club of them fighting her. It's the big be-all, one all, uh, end all. And they always perform online events. So again, most of these players primarily dance online and they're pretty strong. 
except for Bubble Boots, of course, who does a lot. He got first at Grand Stampede the first one. He got second at Common Breaker last year. He got fifth at Grand Stampede the following year. He's only really seen tournament losses against Zale, who isn't in playing today. Java Morris, also not here. Arcanel couldn't make it on Utini and God. Um, Danamax and Spooder. All these players who we see online have not made it. And those are really the only aggressors and, and competition that Bubble Boots would have to worry about playing here at Combo Breaker. Absolutely. But with Bubble Boots, of course, being that last year was in second place, yeah. definitely he's trying to get that medal for first there place. There is year. no Zale to stop Bubble Boots this time. Not to Ooh, say yeah. that he would lose to Zale. I'm just dumb. saying that his demon, his one be all that ended his run, is no longer here to stop him from taking that W. Take it, Bubble Boots. We know you got it. We, you know we got it. I'm not being biased. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Leander. Oh, my God. I love this. This is my character. This is my girl. This is literally one of the best characters in the game, personally, I feel, considering that she's up. I would say if you wanted to come from a different fighting game into them fighting hurts, she is the character you want to check out because she has not only uh, a great arsenal of just projectiles between mm -hmm. setting up some of the dark spells, as well as teleports, as well as a, a great fireball. Yeah. She's just fundamentally such a good I character because she has the range for it. She has an overhead. She has uh, uh, traps. She has a, a level three assist One. demon in her book. I think it is actually the book itself. Ooh. It is right actually, yes. It's the demon in the book. But this is a great start here for Sector 7 New. And then back away, tries to go for the stomp. Now the key thing here is to try to get some of those air to airs and actually set up for Oleander's meter, which is her spell gauge. And here we go, this is a great, there we go, we have it. One That's trap already, there you look at that. Ooh, but the awful neutral, getting it by the stomp. We like it, we like it. Ooh, those little hops with the jumping medium is definitely, God, no, it's jumping heavy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Boom, 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 boom. Bubble boots. You gotta, you gotta get out of there, my brother. Sector Noob is showing he's not afraid of no second place player. Arizona taking the first match. It was a good attempt to try to get the roll there from Bubble Boots, but unfortunately, Sector Seven Noob was just aware oh, yes, of what does. was happening in that particular situation, and that's what oh. really works well with Arizona is taking advantage of the roll away situations that this game has. And it's crazy seeing that Arizona caught Oleander in the air with a really course of a medium. Forcing her forward medium uh, 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 horn and continuing the combo with the stomp. Putting her in the corner, getting a grab, putting her out of the corner though, that's crazy. Oh, but she has the role play, so it wouldn't matter anyway. Oh and my god. And the cross up, there we go, we just saw it perfectly. And that is another perfect KO here at Combo Breaker. Sector 7 said, no one knows who I am. That just makes it easier for me to whip all your buns with no context. Bubble Boots, definitely strong, but is a little uncomfortable. Chris trying to take his time, give himself a breather. He definitely should hit the character select screen to give himself the perfect amount of time. I will uh, say Oleander in Arizona is not the most not fun matchup, especially no, considering no, that Arizona is that rushdown character and can really stop you from trying to get your spells going up. And that's what makes Oleander really strong, yes. is the fact that when she has that meter of spells, she's able to actually amplify some of her projectiles and her other moves. It's crazy to see a character who's well known on being great in the mid and far game range being outstuffed by this little cow who's like, I'm coming in your face. You get in the hooves, baby. You getting kicked okay. in your chin. Oh my God, look at that. Turn that was a out. great attempt to try to actually catch the recovery, but just with there, there goes the grab into the corner and because of the wall hit, able to actually bring out the projectile with the armor. It's too good. Just going through it. Just trying to make sure she stops any chance of momentum that Oleander can get. Putting her in the corner now. Ooh, stop. Another stomp. Ooh, no super. Continuing. Seriously? Okay, there you go. Put her in the corner. What are you gonna do about it now? Oh, yeah, you will have very many tools to get out of there. They do have an alpha counter that can be done. They do have a means to, to push her away, but Arizona is such a strong, fast character. But when she's in your face, there is almost nothing you can do about it. Yeah, it's really hard because with no reversal options there, Oleander does have to hold that pressure. And one of the things that uh, Bubble Boots is actually doing extremely well is uh, actually able to just straight Wait up a back away. I just realized Bubble Boots is the Arizona player. <laughs> we had them swap the entire time. I was I was a little weirded out. I was like, wait a minute, why is Bubble Boots playing only in? That's a Zay, that's a Zale move. Not Bubble Boots. Never mind. Bubble Boots is taking it. He's taking the game. We we had them confused. Sector seven. 
We thought he was being heavily aggressive, but now he's being aggressive right now by yeah, Bubble Boots just is... putting him in the corner with the lows. No overheads taking the game, and that is it. Sector 7 dropped down the losers. Bubble Boots gets into top 8 winner side, which is to be expected. I should have known with his shirt on. I'm like, wait a minute. Why is he playing all the edge? That's fishy. That ain't, that ain't. That's a little sus, my friend. Why are you doing? Wait, I'm confused. You're not playing your main in top 16, and now we got corrected. Thank God. Oh my that goodness. is one thing, though, that when you look at how this match went really back and forth, yes. um, it's extremely hard when you have, for example, a character like uh, Oleander, where a lot of her pressure and her combos start from the jump fins. They start with trying to set up for the magic. And if you notice, we only really saw that one time where Sector 7 was actually trying to get the meter yes. for the spell. And again, fundamentally, you can play Oleander and be really well, like you can transfer all of your skills from the previous, like your own the previous Fergie. games yep. into them fighting herds. But if you're not ready to start setting up properly, yep. also setting up conditions like uh, Bubble Boots was doing so, catching recoveries, catching the rollaways, that is extremely important in this type of level of game plan because that's where you're trying to think ahead and see what your opponent's trying to do. There was only two times that Sector 7 had any sort of aggression on top of uh, Bubble Boots. It was when he first set the trap into neutral, and then when he grabbed him and put him in the corner, not yeah. like not continuing his combo, but can get combo off of a back throw into the corner. It was the only two times he had any sort of uh, uh, pressure on Bubble Boots. But Bubble Boots said, no, I'm Arizona. I will armor through this. I will jump. I will short hop, heavy short hop, uh, uh, medium, and I will get into your space and punish you for it. Now, this match, I love my man. MPK. I believe he is the community manager of, M of Main 6. Uh, or the event manager. I don't know which. I just know he's a Main 6 god. And he <laughs> plays my man, Texas. What the hell is that? Oh my gosh. All no. the people. Hold on. I gotta try to read this. All the people. No, sorry. All few generations will come to <laughs> revere the savior. What the? What, what in the Super Sentai is this? Whole shot fire. Oh, that's that's Chen Wolf. Now it makes sense. That's the movie. Oh my god, they printed it on a hat, on a foam hat, nonetheless. Giving him the Hono Tensei feeling. Good lord. That's Jesus. A great hat. That's awesome. That's so cool. And regardless, uh, the fact that you have literal devs and people who work on the game on a daily basis here Wait. right now playing the game that they like so lovingly created with so many homages to different parts of not just fighting game culture but, but every culture. media culture as okay. well the uh i don't want to call the troll the the, the troll culture oh is this man. texas no i, I was gonna texas. tell you so here hear me out first no. of all texas best character in the game i don't care what anyone Excuse says me? i don't care texas no, stop god it, it stop is it. texas is voiced by the same voice that it does dio brando right of the blood edge and my girl fast of diva trust me texas is godlike though he will get pressured by pepper i'm not gonna lie to you mpk may not make it out of this I'm be real with you. I'm gonna be real with you. He got away with that. Ooh, short hop after the slam. You can do that? Wait a minute. Texas. Texas. I did not know you could do that. One of the big body characters was actually revealed in last year's Combo Breaker. Also, I believe one of the ones who trained Arizona as well in the lore. Well, she, he had to train. That's her, that's her dad. <laughs> this is, you know what? We're two weeks away from Father's Day. We're gonna get MPK given Arizona the treatment next match uh, in top. A if he does beat Linkster. Linkster, of course, being a very prominent a content creator and a strong Paprika player, what will he do? He is afraid of Texas. I've never seen, every time I see all my matches with Texas, everybody is, is not afraid to approach up and just jab the hell out of Texas. I have never seen anybody stay this far away from Texas and, and avoid everything. Ooh. Oh, I think he's gonna do the command grab. No, no SPD, baby. No Texas XPD. The Southern Love. Ooh, there goes that punish. Unfortunately, Lynx are not able to connect that move. And now MPK is the one that's going ahead, breathing it in and getting ready. Good Lord. That hat is just amazing. I know, it's killing me, my <laughs> goodness. Killing me not as fast as Texas beating the unholy hell out of Paprika right now. Putting in neutral, what he's gonna do, kind of cross up. Now, what's funny is playing against Texas, his body is so big, some characters can't even get past jumping behind him. Oh my god, oh that was. Oh my works. gosh, the reset into the reset. But 
Linkster doesn't fall for it, brings nope. out the potted plant and actually continuing this combo into the corner, lets it drop to get the overhead attempt and catch MPK off guard. Now the crazy part is after those two mediums, he could have SPD right then and there, but Paprika knew and thus wanted to make sure she dragged him out of that crazy setup. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is the full on wall bounce and able to get the full on recovery. And this is once again going to get thrown into the wall and lashed out once more. Oh, he couldn't do it. He couldn't press the A button fast enough and she command grabbed, okay, just regular grabbed him. Put him in the corner. Ooh, ooh. No, no apples, just a plant. Try to get more pressure. Be honest, Black so Diamond, after that cross up, did you get hit too? Because I got yes, it. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I've been playing in three brackets to get ready for Combo Breaker as Texas. And every Paprika just said, you know what? I'm going to cross up issue. Every Ooh, single time. Teleport hit. opportunity to punish the super that was blocked. No. I don't think Texas really has fast moves besides his crouching medium. Ooh. No. Oh, no. No. Sasha. No. Sasha. Black Atlas, do you know what time it is? <laughs> it's the movie time! Oh my god! No! Stab him, shake him, bring him down! Yeah. That hat does it to me. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I just, you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. I waited all morning to say it's the movie time. I waited all morning. I had to get it out of my system. We I need to once. stop loving Texas and we need to talk about how crazy this character is. You're right, you're but right. <laughs> I have a feeling Linkster might switch to another strong character. Ooh, two dads fighting it out on Father's Day. Oh. Yes! It is Texas versus Strong Coop. This Both is... DLC characters here at Dems Fighting Herd. It's about and we're about, up in here. <laughs> we are 100% about to see some big damaging combos. Look how majestic these two are. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I don't know who decided to give Strong Coop a stand, but I will pay you, main six. Whoever decided this, I needed it. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> Round start, standing medium, icicles everywhere. You gonna do the, the low command grab? No? Okay. Ooh, the shield. Captain America, what are you doing here? Ooh. Okay, I gotta admit, Strong Group is, looks so graceful yes. when swinging the axe, but MPK says, nope, we're gonna go home on the range and actually go for the hard knockdown. He and hit his catch you there. Oh my god, Texas, what are you doing? Ooh. Jesus! And the damage output that right now MPK is just dishing out for the reset gets the low, and we're gonna be able to pull through and actually get the grab no. to go for the reset, but misses, he unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, if we did the uh, regular standing drive uh, follow-up, we could definitely command right after that, but no, it definitely was not fast enough. What the? He's floating in the air. Stronger that's like, wind? It, yes, it's actually like a wind pool there, right? Who that? What in the Rachel Alucard is this? And actually, the act staying on the field as well, more than likely a setup trap Ooh. for MPK to hit. But this time, MPK tries to get the last hit, not going to be able to succeed. All it takes from these two players is one hit, and yes. there it goes. Now, MPK not finishing his food, as Black Atlas was saying right next to me. He's not finishing his food, dropping his combos, not getting the, the bells out fast enough. Not showing the love of Texas. But he'll get it, he'll get it. Don't worry, it's MPK. My man comes back strong. Stronghold. Just those norms are so powerful. Mid screen, round start. Doesn't matter because Texas is now putting him. Oh, God. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. There we have it. Linkster trying to actually do the pushback, but wasn't going to be able to do so as MPK. This is almost closing in as 50% of the damage already done, and Linkster definitely low on health. Tries to go for the reset, goes for the insta block and tries to get that reversal with the Viking doll. Too bad it got hit with that weird hitbox. That was crazy. He did charge medium. The thing is floating and still got hit. There goes that wind push to keep the actual combo going and juggle, but MPK is able to get up, tries to go for the low, and actually is succeeding in that push and going for full combo damage right now to try to get that wall bounce. Does whiff a little bit. Push blocks once again from Linkster has so much health, not able to actually really come back from there. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm afraid. MPK has three meters right now. That is scary. That is going to be oh my gosh. two movie times this morning? <laughs> two movie times? Nah, nah, nah. I like oh, how the armor. Oh my god, the start, the start, the strong start from strong hook means nothing now because MPK is not letting him take anything. Every exchange, oh no. it's, it's movie gone. time again! Yes. Oh my, he got away with murder! Stop! Jesus Christ! 
Oh my gosh. Strong hurt and strong not anymore, baby. How much damage does half, this do? Half gone, look at that. What? Yeah, Texas. Ooh, it's so good. You call that certain love where I'm from. Okay, there we go. Linkster actually able to start this combo up. Keeps up with the comp juggle as the win is able to just let Strong Hoop dish it out. Gets the hard knockdown. Tries to dash in. And we go into the super, but no! MPK actually responding accordingly. And this is not looking good for Linkster. MPK said, I watched JoJo. Go stay in working here, baby. We know the tricks. We know the tech. Look at that. Dragon three. Ooh, ooh. You can oh continue with the combo. God. And MPK takes it over Linkster, making top eight winner's side. Linkster, you did your best. You, 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 you did what you could. We're going to be real with you, my guy. We all saw it. The chaos was too much. No one's getting away with dealing with Texas. No one's getting Jesus. away against Texas whatsoever. But it was so cool to see Strong Hoop. I actually want to play Strong Hoop now when I get back home and oh, start playing. Thousand percent. That was a gorgeous. That is a gorgeous character, and I definitely want to say shout outs to Main Six for creating such awesome characters, such awesome dad characters as well. It was really cool. Now, of course, with Father Days coming up, we have to pay the bills. We got to <laughs> give our dad some good gifts, which means there's going to be an ad break. It's not like the usual experience. You're gonna love it. Trust me, these ads are not like normal ads. They'll make your mind blown. Now, can we swap to them? Let's find out. Welcome back to some more TFH here at Combo Breaker. We are just like vibing to the music, right? This shanty music slaps something fierce. I did not, <laughs> I'm not giving this game that much OST time. I'm just putting music around on top of it. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is good. Yeah, this is pretty wait good. Wait a minute. This is like, you go, you like, you just head to the shanty party and you're just like ready to, to hop in. It's pretty good. This it's is amazing. One of the best things about TFH is just the amount of love that goes into this of game. Of course. Including that soundtrack. Everything feels so good when you're in that match and you're just hearing these this original soundtrack. It, it, it's awesome because knowing that shanty is a, a, a Jamaican goat, that Caribbean experience, the vibes. I need shanty to be played on stream with this match. I need Chani to be on this stage right now so I can hear the, 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 when, <laughs> when she starts winning, they start giving a different kind of groove. I have to stop what I'm about to say because guess what? Solania. Ume Haitian. Tifi Goddess. Carabina. Sorry, Caribbean. Conquista. Playing Velvet Mirror with Mashingo. I'm sorry. I'm biased as a Haitian man. I just have to get my sisters out there and I just, I'm loving to see as she's running. I think that's the, um, Blakeson. Right, yeah, the breaks in uh, colors, not run them on. Sorry, sorry. Oh, that's a gorgeous skin, too. Again, another thing, too, about TFH is that there are many skin palettes in this game that you might see some hints to some other games as well. But this is a Velvet Mirror. Now, Velvet's an interesting character just because of the way she sets up her eyes and how it is definitely something you can set up as a delay yes. and come into play later on as you start your pressure. Now, as a as Glacius main in Killer Instinct, I definitely vibe with Velvet so much. The traps, the, the not unblockables, but hard to block if you don't see them coming the icicles in the air she is so strong and she has a dash come on double helix fix that now we'll stop but anywho watching solaria now getting the uh those the equal treatment from machine now being put in the corner she has to now play defense and now you know getting out of that situation putting herself in offensive even though she's in the corner she's making sure that machine knows that i am not afraid of what you got to deal with me i am you you are me if i know what you're going to do you know what i know what you're going to do so now watch him hit pressure him with a low ooh, ooh. now Some icicle battles this is just being the game one thing you have to keep in mind when you're playing against Velvet, instant blocks are actually really crucial. Yes. This is a character that you can't really push block until she's actually in your face. And right now, Solarnia is doing a fantastic job right now in really dwindling the health, but Masingo actually finally able to get in and start up some of the combo pressure. And there goes the Missed ice it. tornado. Dropped it. Oh no. my god. It looked like she just shot the ice right out of her bum. Like, boop. There you go. Take that loss, baby. Now, this match is losers. So if Mashingo doesn't pick up this next game, he will be dropped out. Solaria, Solaria will be moving on to top 12 in loser side. Ready? Need. 
definitely all is on the line here as both of these players are just trying to still stay in this bracket and try to make it to that top eight. But right now, Solania creating the setups needed. And this is perfect. This is her game plan. You can stay here, literally zone out. One thing too about Velvet, you don't, it's interesting because you would think, oh, it's just simple movements or moves on the stick to be able to create that obstacle course. This is actually a very challenging high execution character too. Yes. Because you have to make sure you be able to set up your traps while having the projectile stay on the screen. It is, again, I'm going to keep the bracket to the glaciers because my main killer racing. Same execution, except for she has way more options and tools. And of course, she's getting thrown into the corner for a little breaks in. I'm, I'm going to call it breaks in. I'll definitely have to like trying to push her back out. Valaria definitely having a little difficulty trying to get out of Mishingo's pressure. And the grab. grab that no. is not game yet. Oh. It's okay, it's okay though. The high CMC that will come back again and make it, you know, 1 1. You know, we're not going to have a one sided. Don't worry. That uh, projectile setup is perfect because all Miss Dingo needed to do. But there goes the Ice Tornado, and this is creating a perfect full screen advantage where now Solarnia has to come in and actually set out those projectiles and try to make it. But Miss Dingo able to actually catch Solarnia in the startup. And what's crazy is when he did that super, he put her against the, you know, the opposite corner. But she said, no, I'll stay right here. I'm good. I'm fine. And he had to press forward to get some oppression. And there now Solaria has Machingo in the corner. Same super. Ooh, Ooh. with the follow-up. Ooh, not meter. And that frozen. is actually frozen. Yeah, so that is pretty much a slowed down uh miss ingo that we were just seeing there and what a crazy character that you yes. have that in addition because you set out that super for level two it looked like uh, almost reminiscent to street fighter sixes uh you know when they get burned out yeah you know, they got that dull color on them and they're moving a little slower more jaded Ooh, look at that she can do the same thing it's like fine you can set those traps i can too baby we'll play the same character this is quite literally a mirror match yes. of ice what's gonna happen now he's walking forward Ooh. Now it's 1-1, like I told you. She's gonna come back. She's gonna bring it to 1-1. Now, this could be anyone's game, of course, because Mishingo has shown that he can take it round back off, but it is set point for Solania. Amazing anti-air there for Solania. Ooh, and actually bringing out the projectiles can play this full screen once again. There goes that low that's also a setup trap as well ooh, that ooh. can catch you off guard. And you just have to play it safe here. Push box a bit just from that full screen range and brings out the double projectile. And we just saw where Velvet can actually pull you in. That's also something to keep in mind. And there goes the Ice Tornado. And now, now Solania is the one that's frozen. Good Lord. It's it's, it's crazy in a game that's footsie heavy, making it like a bullet hell experience with just these two characters on screen. And it, it, it can go either way because it doesn't matter what position each Velvet is. They both can do the same thing at the same distance. And guess what? Solania got that uh, hit. Get confirmed off of that straight hit. Boom, boom. No, 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 no air juggle. It's fine. It's all right. But she is ahead. She can't do the same thing as long as, you know, he, 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 he tries to trap. It she was still a good reset back neutral. Of yeah. course, of course. And here we go. The actual icicle bringing out now only one being charged out. Tries to push back. There goes a the reversal for the counter instead, choosing to set up the projectile. And once again, the oh slow my God. hit. She just looked at him and was like, I'm hit your toes for a second. You know, just get little, little, little hoof right there. Now Solarnia, again, the high Sien, si stad, Tifi, makes it into top 12, loses bracket. Uh, Mashingo, of course I love to see it. We got to get the sisters out here, showing the love. You know, it's, it's great to see that she can come out and play well. Solarnia, congratulations. Mashingo definitely did play his best, made top 16. I think it's a higher place than he did last year. So it's great to see him still making progress. And now our next game, it looks like that can't be Bubble Boots again. It oh. is. Wait, what? No, he's wearing the same shirt. That's why it's throwing me off. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. That guy grew hair real quickly. No, oh, this is God. Shadow King versus Baltuis. Uh Now, Baltuis Bal is the one yes. that is Paprika. We yep. did see a little bit about that. Um, Actually, mostly an online player. Again, most of yep. TFH's community is online. Mm -hmm. It's still relatively new, especially considering that just in the last year was released on consoles, was on PC for the majority. Yes. Also, shout out to Modus for also helping support uh, the TFH community of as course. well in regards to really pumping out that console port. I think when games, especially fighting games, reach to console, it really helps grow the community. And now we're just seeing what how cool it is some of these tournaments are. I mean, again, with a game like TFH that has great rollback netcode, yes. and on top of everything, so many awesome like 
colors, characters, the they're all unique. No character feels the same in this game. Yep. And it, that's amazing. It, it, it's great to see that it's not just a, a swap palette. Every place the same and they'll do the same things. No, everybody is, is mechanically different in every form and fashion. You cannot play Arizona like you play Orleando, like you play Velvet, like you play Stronghold. Everybody is different. And they all have traits and bits, experience from different fighting games across the board. Uh, traps, projectiles, command grabs, being, uh, um, Texas being the, the only main grappler in the game, which is a different, difficult challenge for them to provide a big body, a big body character. The only big body character as yep. well. And that's really challenging, especially um, when I'm sure they actually created this game. It was never really the intention to bring in a big body character like that. Of and course. now that's one of the things too that I love seeing from TFH from their, seeing their like DLCs as they come out. Like their DLCs are so unique. I mean, it's like, how do you make a, a character that's not just like a, your standard like force character that like will do something like for example oleander right with her magic or uh even like velvet that we just saw yes right no instead Arizona. it is literally a full-on like everyone's just unique and it's it's interesting seeing them give these characters such beautiful life the way they all act, speak, respond, even their intros that are way too long. I'm sorry, I'm biased. Way too long, but they get to have a whole conversation. You, you see, you before. said that, but then we saw Velvet versus Velvet's intro, and you're like, that's a gorgeous intro. So I don't believe you. Oh, okay, I don't right. believe you. You're right, you're right. I'm, I'm a little biased. I love the way they talk to each other. It, it, it's fun, but sometimes I'm like, man, this, can this can this round start, please? <laughs> but it's, I love this game. It's fantastic. I love seeing these different characters, Paprika being this goofy alpaca that can command grab you instead of traps, kind of like Deadpool, uh, Arizona, more, I, I'm going to say Shoto for the sake of simplicity. Arizona, Shoto? Si si simplicity, simplicity, what? simplicity, simplicity, nah. simplicity, simplicity. I'm just saying, where basic moves are, are universal for every other fighting game that you can pick up Arizona. If you play the main characters of most fighting games, that's why I say that that's specific. Not the way she can do fireballs, she can't, but that's not the point, because guess what? Arizona there being basically beat to death in this corner. Ooh. Another cross up and actually brings out the potted plan to try to set up something here. The push black, although not able to actually get it through, as that's going to leave Shadow King able to go for the hard knockdown. Tries to go for the low. Gets the anti air, though. Jesus. In the corner, Paprika going from corner to corner. Arizona, ooh, putting that pressure. Ooh, no. She delayed, got up, and said, I'm going to do this. Oh, my God. Oh, the wall slam. Here. And we got also a grab. Actually jumping to avoid the super and look just lassos in. That's oh insane. my gosh. She said you can run, but you can't hide, girl. Yeet. Bring it right back to the corner. I, I will say I love and hate Arizona's lasso. Yes. yes. Cause it's so cool, but at the same time it's like, why do you get to just grab me from the air and like yeet me? <laughs> Could you imagine you just fighting a cow and she just lassos you from across the screen? Like what excuse me? Better me so what? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is that a, is that a, it's not a DP for Paprika, right? That little, I believe so. Okay, good, perfect. That's how she did it at Invincible Startup, and then Arizona just armored through it and punished her last round. Interesting blocks here from Shadow King, showing off the defense. Unfortunately, not going to get that grab on the lasso, but this is a great opportunity. Does get the grab, gets the hard knockdown, tries to go for a meaty situation, but unfortunately, Valtuis is able to call it out. Couldn't really get anything from that grab from the wake up roll, but it's all right. Oh my God, again, the Ooh. invincible DP gets stuffed by the armored move. Oh no. my goodness, it, 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 it killed. Jesus Christ, Balthus coming back. Very strong online Paprika. I don't know much about Shadow King, but I already fought Balthus twice this past weekend. It has been a, a crazy endeavor. Ooh, okay, there you go. Let's see what Let's you can do. Let's get the tie teleport. The cinnamon roll as a trap. It doesn't work because Arizona is not gonna, you know, get stuck by that little trap. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's two ropes mid-combo. He's there gonna get DP. He's done it three times already. You do it again? Backs off just a little bit. Goes for the push block situation, but unfortunately, Valtuis is aware. Tries to get the lick ooh. in. There goes the lick for the low. And here there we go. That cross up. Oh my gosh, you got it. Works. I got, I got it. it, of course. Nope, no level three. Oh. It's movie time. Oh. It worked. Oh my god. She <laughs> throwing him in the trash. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. What? Oh, that was for nothing. Paprika said, that's cool. You know. 
<laughs> you, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. She said you you can you can do what you want. Take that the level three. Super, Take the level three. <laughs> but guess what? I win anyway. Teleport, baby. That was a great super, and then just underwhelmed by like paprika. Little flat. Left. <laughs> she said back. I'm just teleport, baby. You ain't gonna see it. She did it again. About to, oh, 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 see? Okay, there you go. The That's, broccoli is eight. Exactly. Now, it doesn't give any plus to Papri. I'm sorry, to Arizona. But it does put her in a, a sort of animation stun. But, you know, she can punish her from across the screen. No teleport. Did not think that Arizona would do it. Guess what? Now she's going to get juggled across map, baby. Take it from state to state. Good recovery Ooh. into the push block. And there we have it with the lasso to start it up. Continues the combo to go for the juggle and the side switch. Blocks calling out the oh TP my very God. nicely. And there goes the wall slam. Not going to be able to connect. The but teleport? Okay. Expected to teleport. Goes for the armor move. But unfortunately, Balto is also able to continue on with the combo. Gets the side switch. He's definitely getting stuffed by these, like, Ooh. armored baits. Ooh. But it doesn't matter because guess what? Shadow King is showing Balto's. I ain't losing this round just because you beating my baits. Sorry, right, see what you do now. Now she can teleport, which is what uh, Shaki would be expecting. Good blocks Ooh. here from the apple. Gonna try to he still ate it. Oh, oh, he ate it in front of him. He's like, I don't care, I'll eat it. Oh no! Boop, 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 boop. Flash kick. <gasps> well, he just woke up Jab! Oh, jab! The disrespect. Said, you know what? Hey. Listen, you gotta be better with your meetings. That's what you gotta do. You're right, you're right. You don't wanna get wake up, Jab? Get better with your meetings. Jesus. He said, you know what? I don't care what pressure you got, Jab. Ooh, 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 ooh. Shadow King getting a little juggle to the corner. Drop the combo, but got the reset. Drop it again. Can he get the reset? I love the short hop there from Shadow King. Very much aware of what Baltus is trying to do. Gets the grab, and we're gonna keep it going. Waits patiently, calling out Baltus splat. The only two things that Paprika can do out of that is like the flash kick and the teleport. And every time, minus that last time, he's gotten, you know, he's baited for the response. And Baltoy just kept it rolling. Ooh, Shadow King trying to get the air to interaction, but now oh, Baltoy gets cross the out. cross up. Jesus, what side am I going on? Huh? What side will I be? Oh, it doesn't matter. No cinnamon roll for you, baby. Er, er, nope. Does not get the combo extender. Has to wait patiently. Blocks gorgeously. And this is going to be a full on punish. Not oh, gonna no. be able to get the combo, but we do get the reset. And, and this then is super. Free. No! Oh, oh, okay, oh okay. my gosh. Okay, okay. <sighs> Shadow King taking a game. I was so scared. I was like, is he gonna really risk it all? I. That super has dropped twice. Again, for two different people. And I don't know uh, why it's happening, but it has almost costed certain people's games. And it is very stressful as a commentator. It is. It's watching like, hey, you know what? I'll super and I'll still get the win. He's watching it drop. My God. He's, he got almost got robbed twice. Ooh, now pressure. Now actually footsies for the first time this entire tournament is just a break. Patience. Waiting and trying to see what the opponent's going to do. There you go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Drop the combo. Does get woken up. up Listen, it works. There's not really much that Baltoas can really do in that situation. Um, instead of just trying to wait patiently for the wake up option, where Shadow King has really called out Baltoas in most of those wake up situations. Ooh. But great pressure right now. Does get hit though as Baltoas is going to get these side switches and try to start up the cross up. Gets the overhead. And this is looking very nicely for Baltuis, closing in on that 25% of health. Trying to show off that he came here to win this match. Oh, he got roped and crossed up. Oh my God, beautiful. Arizona putting her in the corner. We have a meaty setup ready. No, the no. anti-air catching the recovery and look. Oh no. Great, great. It's no. not okay. It's not okay at all. Oh. I thought he would come down and punish a super with the jumping heavy, and he still got hit. Baltoise, set point to make it up to losers top 12. Good lord. Shadow King starting off with that jump as the teleport happens. Baltoise getting a slight hit here and there. There goes the stomp though from Shadow King. Ooh, ooh. Watching them start with, I, I want to call it Rekkas with these two characters. They both have the same record with their, their the horn throw. That, watching them both start the round trying to 
catch each other from, you know, pressing buttons. And then she's getting stuffed by it. Oh, yeah. teleport. You are not getting away with that. Great boss that there. That is a strong punish, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just don't drop the combo. You drop the combo, but it's okay, because the reset happens. They're hitting them toes, baby. We play footsies here. Watch our toes. We block low. Nope. Just the flash kick. Getting punished. Baltoise is scared. Desperate to try to win this round. There it Shadow goes. King. I like that, to too. It. Shadow King actually letting uh, Baltoist... Just throw himself. That, as well as also noting, noting that the last time the super didn't connect because it was too high up, but yes. actually making sure that it was lower just enough to be able to sleep, secure the deal. Of course, of course. Now watching, what are we going to do now? They are playing extra cautious now. They do not want to drop it. Arizona has the first hit. Ooh, Paprika back, baby. Juggling him, swap sides. You gonna put him to the corner? No, he's gonna let it drop. He's gonna throw that broccoli. Place it. Whoa, oh, it's two broccolis. You oh. better not press no jab, baby. No that was wake a up jab. Block. That was a push block that was actually caught in the recovery. He's gonna eat it. He doesn't care. That goofy face Arizona makes <laughs> kills me. Oh my Who god. Wants to eat broccoli. I th don't judge. I like broccoli. Oh my god. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the Arizona love right now. That 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 uh. The love from this cow is fantastic, considering, you know, how strong and impressive she is to Baltoys taking the game. Ooh, will he? No, he doesn't. He drops it, but it doesn't matter. Because that combo hits. It's a new time. Oh, it's not oh, a new time. Oh, wow. Well. Perfect. It's a uh, level two super. I was hoping it would be movie time. I was hoping. I was praying. But guess what? Shadow makes it up to top 12 losers. Baltoise, we appreciate your gameplay. You beat me last week in that online tournament. I'm happy to... No, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> but, you know, it's great to see Baltoise play offline in person. It's fantastic to see Paprika's uh, represented and playing offline. Now, this one is extra juicy. I'm concerned because I thought that was Neko Crispy, but it is not. So, okay, I have to ask you, Black Diamond. Yes. How is how is it feel when you see your brother, Black Atlas, go on stage? I'm sorry. What did you say? It's not my brother. That's me. That's <laughs> Did you know, everybody, that I can not only commentate top 16, I can play at the same time? That's me. Camera, it's crazy because you him. both, you show both him. look so similar. Hold him, off. Show him. <laughs> show him right now. It's crazy. The eyes, you both have, like, the same eyes. Look at him. And everything. <laughs> That's me. I'm up there. I'm down here and up there. You can never see a person play and commentate top 16 at the same time. <laughs> Look at that beautiful man. Damn, he, he handsome, respectfully. Now, I do want to shout out Sylvie yes. Horse. Because of course. just like Black Atlas is always out here grinding uh, and really showing off. Also, Power Rangers fan yeah. as well, of course. But Sylvie Horse mm -hmm. has, is also one of the most noted TOs for TFH oh, of course. as well. Both now, online and offline. I have to ask. It's going to put me on a weird, awkward position. I'm pretty confident. Isn't that Necro Crispy? Or is that an old tag he went by before? It might be an old tag that he went okay, by good. before. Perfect, but perfect. Uh, regardless, I mean, Sylvie both Horse. of these, it, listen, if you're just getting into TFH, mm -hmm. if you're even wanting to see what the game is like, these two players right here are the people you want to talk oh, to. They're the course. most wholesome and most welcoming players in this community, and they do so, so, so much for us yes, that it do. is amazing. It is a blessing to have them, have passionate people like them be a part of this community. It is It is beyond fantastic seeing my brother who has jumped through many games. I'm going to give him his whole history. Check it. Sasha is a Blaze Blue player, Street Fighter 4 player, Cross Tekken player. Like we played Tekken, of course. He has played BB Cross Tag. He's played Undernight. He has played uh, a Plotsky Blitz Comp. And he's played so Sailor Moon. Top 10 placing Sailor Moon player. My man is a god when it comes to anime fighters. And yes, I kind of want to say something. I'm going to give it to you for one second. But he has placed fourth, fifth, second, seventh in hers in almost every major he's competed in. He has not taken, he's taken only one, I think, at CEO, but he has played so well. He's dominant, and I love seeing him on stage whooping so much cheeks in this game. Yes, Saki, I am sorry. My rant is over. You know what he's also most well known for? What? Breaking all of his sticks. Oh, uh, okay, I can tell you now. The Lamore family secret. I own over 12 arcade sticks. Only two of them work. Oh. Every we time I see Atlas at a major, I... I always feel like he is purchasing or using the another buttons stick. to actually <laughs> yeah. fix another stick. We, we, we bring at least 10 <laughs> sticks with us to every... Oh, he's going to bring it out. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. And a micro. He's got two. He, he, yes. he made sure. He's like, if that breaks, I have another one. Don't worry. And it's all color coordinated. My man said, I'm not he losing. He's ready. He's, he's ready. ready. Oh There's my God. no reason for him to lose out on this top 16 spot.
But also, I was talking to Sylvie Horse. This is a matchup that happens so many times. Yes, they played at CEO, CEO Taku, Frosty Faustings. Every major that they're both in, they always find each other in brackets. And the beautiful orange colors from Sasha. Oh my God, I love it. And this is Palm, which is the first time we actually get to see here on Google. Oh yeah! Versus. She is the most timid, but has the most adorable puppies. She is like a Jacko. In a yes, way. she is. I, that's the, I was trying to figure out a comparison and you perfectly nailed it. Jacko, but in sheet form. And it's crazy because we have four or five Palm players in top eight, oh, sorry, top 16, but we have only seen one. We've only seen one today and look at Sasha. He's gonna do no high. Oh the my air grab, god! The challenge no right one's now. ever done that to Sasha before. <laughs> Everybody said, "Let's take these guys. It's fine. It's good. It's fine. Not it's today. Fine. Not today." That so is what cute. happens when you fight against someone so many times in bracket. And you're yes. like, you know what? It's time to learn. You're gonna learn today. My God, Sasha! Of course, putting the pressure back down. He's gonna do love uh, the heavy ash to ooh ooh ooh. Now it could be a lower high. Lower high. No, instead it's actually trying it's to go for the shimmy and getting the air grab. And what a gorgeous performance there from Black Alice. He said, you can grab me in the skies. I'm going to grab you back, baby. Yet. Equal trades, baby. Equal rights, learn. equal left. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a little crazy. Round Forgive me, two. but it was too good. Now, Palm, of course, she has to at least set up because she has great normals for neutral. But as you can see, Tanho says, screw your neutral. I'm going to be in your face at all times. Ooh, ooh, that was a low. Oh, anti-air. Anti oh my god. That now was we got three puppies on the field as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that beautiful combo. And then air command grab to set up again. No? Okay, there it is. No, we got okay. Hold oh, those slight glide in your face, just oh. patiently waiting. And there we go Double into the fire kick. Boom. For the full super. Oh no, Tensei, baby. We love this. The fire got herself. Look at it. Oh, no, okay, that's fine. It's all right. It's okay. You got pressure, baby. You're in the corner, but it's fine. I'm not rooting for Sasha. I want him to lose. I mean, uh, you know, he's doing his best <laughs> against Palm. Let's see. Yo, oh my God. Sylvie, I almost called him his old tag. Sylvie, knowing the pressure, I was like, I'm going to block high because I know he's going to jump. And then he got hit anyway. Look at me up there. I'm beautiful. Damn, that's crazy. I'm a handsome man. Look at me. Oh, my God. I'm keeping you guys up this entire match. I need I need y'all to see. I need y'all. I have watched this man play this game for hours upon hours when we used to live with each other. My man has put his whole foot in this game. And he just, and it's great to see, of course, Sylvie again from Florida, you know, watching him run events back when he used to go to Steel regularly and doing his best to play at top 16 because I didn't see him here last year at this high. And now he's going to show Sasha that he's not free, baby. This game is either or. Yeah, one thing to note too as well, it has to set up those puppies to be able to it's actually anything, start yeah. any form of momentum. Has done the fundamentals of trying to anti-air Black Atlas, but this is where Alice just signs so perfectly when low. it comes to the rushdown yeah. of Tianhua. I'm sorry, I'm always going to point out whether it's going to go low or high. I probably shouldn't do it out loud, but it's just, it's so much fun watching you the right guesses on the wrong guesses is gonna be high. Ooh, ooh, it was low. Wow. See, I would've got hit. You see, I would've got 100%. hit, definitely. I Look at that grab. Oh, he knew. Neck was like, nah, nah, nah. He's gonna do a grab this time. He got me already with the one low, low one high. Well, Tianhuo, you are so strong. Boop, 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 boop. And it's crazy, because Tianhuo is a character that doesn't have a lot of damage output, so she needs the resets. Every, that's a perfect. That is a perfect. Oh my God. Our third perfect KO here at Combo yet. Breaker. Yes. And you Black Atlas is truly showing that off how perfect. crazy Tianhuo can be. Well, and you're right, not a lot of damage, but look at how all of those resets happen. Yep. You're guessing 50-50s nonstop. This is the most Marvel we're getting in this game. Yeah, you see, it's great. Because look, we could put Palm as a Jacko or a little bit of Strata Hyru. Tianhuo is definitely a Marvel experience. The strong Hook is definitely more of like a Blaze Blue in Texas. Is Zangief. Oh, there goes the Zangief is a thousand percent. But now that we have all these fighting game experiences talked about, Palm is now finally setting up the neutral game. Palm has a very good, strong set of normals for neutral. And now that she has two dogs on the screen, no, no dog copy yet. Oh, one already left. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I love, I love one of them. She's like running after. It's like, hey, come, come back. Come back. She, it, I think they have time on the screen, kind of like with the other traps in this game. They've been on the screen for so long. And Kasash is no longer near that. He doesn't have to worry about that last dog. Set up? No, no set up. I thought you were going to do it because I saw the dog jump in her mouth. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, the cross up. That was so beautiful. Oh, say there's another setup. He's letting that. He's letting Sylvie set up, but nothing's coming from it. That poor dog is sad. Look at him, cause her mama's about to get her booty spanked. 
Sylvie, done. top 16 yeah. placement, fantastic TO, great Palm player, did his best. We thank you. You dropped out. Look at them. These homies have been playing for years. It is fantastic. Seeing me hug that man up there, I said it. Seeing me hug that man. My God. I love both of these TOs. They work so, so know, hard. Right? They have so much passion for this game. And honestly, it, it's, well, again, if you're looking to get into them's fighting herds for the first time and you don't really know where to start, these two players are the people you want to speak to. They're wholesome. They're so amazing. Yes. They work so hard. Of course. And you know what's crazy? Both of them TO while they play. Exactly. Sasha's running the bracket right now <laughs> as he's on top 16. He's like, you know what? Run the bracket. All right, put me last. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> My God. It is, it is fantastic seeing them play. They has a great history. What and a performance, though, I from Black it, right? Atlas. Though. Now, we've seen most of the matches. This one I'm a little unfamiliar with. We've seen Sylvie. We've seen Shadow. We've seen Masingo. This is Meow Mix versus Poco. <laughs> there we go. Magneto. Ah, this way. Yeah, Magneto Horse Dragon. A thousand percent. The most Marvel you're getting out of this game. Wait, come back. Come back, Hanson. You got to come over here. There ain't no way. Look at me. I'm commentating and playing the game. There's two of us, There's baby. two of us. Two, two, two of them right there. <laughs> it is a great time to be here at Combo Breaker 2023. Uh, it's my only my second Combo Breaker. It's definitely my, like, my fifth The Most Fighting Herds tournament. But it's oh, great to be here to play this game. This Meow Mix, yes, and Poco. So I watched Poco play at Frosty Files. I wasn't there. I watched the stream, of course. I was doing research. I wanted to see Poco play. And I believe they got... Actually, I have the notes right here. They had fifth at uh, Frosty Fousting. Let me see. Poco, 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 Poco. I have it right here. They had third, actually, Frosty Faustings this year. Fourth, Frosty Faustings the year prior. Fifth, the year prior. Poco makes their name well. And mostly Frosty Faustings has not placed at combo breaker before 25th last time and so now they've definitely upped their ante oh, and made top 16 will poco make it out also another palm player i believe this is a palm mirror actually this no i don't know be... who Yamix plays uh paprika, paprika might be paprika the purple the great drink paprika i love it i'm sorry i'm uh, it's so beautiful i love this character the way she looks the bright shining twitch purple it is beautiful but i can't really make out what color scheme Tom is. I'm sorry. We're gonna make Tom? it a game. Tom of looks what like uh, 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 I think. What is the Pokemon? I think it's like, oh, um, it's it's the the grass think, starter from uh Sun and Moon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Hold on, I know this one. I know this one. I can't remember. It's uh. Or Sword and Shield. I can't remember. But it's definitely the grass starter from Sword and Shield. I can't because I chose the green grass Pokemon, so I'm a little bit upset that I can't remember this. It's all but, good. There's a lot oh, of Pokemon. Outlet, outlet. Outlet. Yeah. Go, no, no, no. It's it. the other one. It should be. It should be the. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the monkey one, that's the one she looks like the color scheme for. But I, forgive me, there's over a thousand Pokemon at this point, but we're not here to talk about Pokemon. We're here to talk about Poco giving Meow Mix the Meow Schmix, baby. Look at him. Put him in the corner. Now Look at them two dogs. Oh my goodness. The pressure. Ooh. Look at them. The lights, baby. She can run past you too, so you have to block the mix from the dogs. Finally, a palm doing damage. And Look yeah, this is compared to what we saw before with Sylvie. This is. A great opportunity to see how Palm works in this mix. But yes. now Meow Mix trying to do so, but the puppy's actually coming in clutch and crossing up Meow Mix right there. It is tough seeing Palm's getting pressure throughout this entire bracket to not really get to play or do much damage except for a neutral. But seeing Poco put the pressure using the dogs, she's raw dogging Meow Mix right now. She just put out two dogs and said, You're getting hit by one of them and you will get punished for it. You will die for it. Up one game, Poco over Miami. That was a fantastic uh, Palm play. I know, right? I, I, you know, this is actually for me the first time I really get to see Palm players like dish out like not only damage but show off their uh, their setups. Yeah. But we also have Meow Mix who's gonna finally start up some momentum here. There is a doggo though that just came from behind and was very angry so, that Palm was getting beat up there. And it was crazy because watching Meow Mix try to hit with the the aerial heavy that spin the Tatsu in the air to pressure Poco. She said, "Nah, I'm just duck." Call the dog, it's gonna punish you out the air, and now you're in the corner. Two dogs on the screen. Ooh, 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 another one right there. Second boy. Oh, that's bad. Oh no. Poco, you got hit out the air. What are you gonna do? Going from town to town, corner to corner. Call the dog again. Ooh, the teleport. Wow. I almost forgot about that. And it doesn't matter. Two aerial hits. Oh my goodness. Poco taking the game over Paprika. Can we talk about that hitbox? Is she real floating? Quick? Was she just floating? I like Johnny Bravo here had her in the air for like a minute. Her, like, I guess her kick, like her kicks yes. let her float just a little bit. No, 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 no. So it had a different animation where her her, her poof becomes okay. bigger and she floats in the air, which probably good for mix-up because you could definitely try to 
have two dogs on the screen. I'm sorry. Yes. No, no, it's all good. Regardless of what happened, that was a really great opportunity for Coco. Of course, of course. Coco, is she ever standing low? I tell Gohan, and, and, and those fighters. Oh my God, look at this. Ooh, 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 ooh. That, that doggo is actually going out for the bite there. And you can just see, that's a big doggo. That's a grown dog over there. Is that the mama? Is that big mama? Oh my gosh. There it goes, out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Pepe, you're trying to get the pressure again. You're trying to get the lead again. No cross up, nothing. Uh, you know what it is? Miyamix is definitely suffering because they're not following up with any pressure like the other no. uh, uh, Paprika players are playing. Yeah, compared to some of the previous Paprikas we saw earlier in the bracket, he usually saw them either set up with Apple or the plotted plant. But instead, right now, Meow, Meow Mix seems to not have that uh, full-on setup when knockdown situation has happened. Yep, and does not even try to do any cross-up with the, the spinning Beyblade. Like, there it is. The, the, the one time I said he wasn't going to do it, she did it. But it doesn't matter because guess what? Tom can definitely run past, have a dog attack at the same time. So now it's a three-layer mix. Oh, the juggle. That launcher. Ooh, ooh, summon another dog. Keep her in the air. Put pressure. Two dogs on the screen. Three dogs on the screen. One's pissed. The other one's like, yeah, I'm just here to vibe, my brother. I'm just here to beat some 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 paprika, my brother. Do not eat that apple. Do not do it. Don't fall for the trick. You can eat it though for 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 health. No, nothing. There it is. Yeah, but no health. I think it's mostly dry. Uh, uh, magic drive the guy absorbed. There goes that back dog right there to actually catch um, Meow Mix with the bite. Okay, yeah, punch the dog. Yeah, there you it's go. just like Jacko's minions. You're able to like actually hit them. Um, but the sometimes screen. when you hit them, you're still in a recovery, so yeah. you have to be also careful it's of just like, that. Also, Gargos and uh, Killer Instinct have that same setup, though so they have much more health than dogs in this game. Oh. Pop it up, the Strider Super, oh Big Mama. Did you get the combo from it? Oh, the cross up. Look at how beautiful that is. And is that death? That is it. Popo takes it over Pat. Oh, sorry. Yes, Paprika. Meow makes the player. Paprika, the character, out in losers top 16. Poco makes it the top 12 to play later today. What a phenomenal calm, though. That was a great yes, opportunity it was. to see it, what this character does. And honestly, all the doggos. I, I'm just, I'm so happy to see all the doggos. Of course, of course. And it's rare because we didn't, we saw, we saw Sylvie play. And Sylvie played their best. But with, with, with Black Atlas's pressure, yeah. we got to see no dog play whatsoever. It was all straight neutral and fundamentals and footsies, which she does have. And it's not as strong as the setups. But it, it it's great to see that we got to see two kinds of palms, more neutral, heavy base, and more trap base. But also this paprika didn't really get to do any setups, no oki, just combo drop, and then let me just jump over. And it's like you, you have the tools, we didn't use them, yeah. but it, it's great to see that we got to see such a wide variety of. Even though there's only like nine characters in the game, a wide variety of play from these characters All and the different styles. people doing different things. Now, of course, again, I'm biased because who's was coming up on the stage, Solania. The Haitian sister, Tifi. Good, yes. Umem Haitian. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not going to get over that. I'm, I'm very into <laughs> but just talking about my people, but yes. With that in mind, though, let's go ahead and take a quick ad break. We'll be right back with some more Dems Fighting Heads here at Combo Breaker. Yeah. Yo, you see that overhead? Oh, my goodness. That Nobody was, so was blocking that. Ooh, I anyway. definitely got hit. That Ooh. was wild, man. These matches have been great. Oh, absolutely. You know what? We're about to take a quick break here, and Combo Breaker 2023 is still going on. Uh, don't worry. This time, we're going to order for yeah, it. Yeah, we got you. Don't, don't even worry about Be it. Be right back. Don't forget to head on over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. But don't delay, because that merch is going to go quick. Welcome back to Combo Breaker 2023. Again, you know, Black Diamond. The... the the doppelganger on stage and back here, of course, and with the queen herself, Beast Hockey. I'm not gonna stop calling you the queen of fighting <laughs> games. I'm just gonna say you, you've been been doing your best all weekend, I'm doing the most, and now you're here giving us your blessings in them's fighting herds on commentary. <laughs> Tell me, how was how your weekend actually? Let's start with that. My weekend's been uh, insane, starting from the minute I got in on Thursday to yeah. just yesterday, um, insane matches. I, Combo Breaker is just one of those events you have to come out to. Oh, it's really percent. one of those experiences that you can't really like miss out on because there's just so much uh, to enjoy there. But we're going to hop into our next match. We were talking about this a little bit earlier. Uh, this will be, I believe, a... Uh, uh, actually, they're going through the intro right now. So this is going to be the full match 
uh, if they're not going to do any button checks. It looks like it is the full match. Solarnia versus, I believe that is Sector 7 move. Yep. Yes, there we go. Sector 7 trying his best to gum it. It's funny because they're both long range. Well, o Oleander's more mid range to close, mid -range, while yeah. Velvet is more mid range to long. But seeing him try to just rush up on her, n just not prepared for the, the icy hell she's about to experience. Ooh, ooh. Put him in the corner. There you go. This matchup is also a bit of a struggle because unlike uh, Oleander, she has to charge up those spells. Whereas Solania, as you saw, able to set up the projectiles on the icicles and on the lows and let, literally let the full screen game play itself out. She doesn't need any meter just to set these traps up like this. I believe the meter is for mostly the wind, I assume. But uh, watching her just set up uh, uh, cross-screen low traps, cross-screen projectiles. She has two different ones, the ice scoop and the hail. Watching her just pressure Sector from across the map, getting close. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Velvet is powerful. Okay, so Oleander's trying to charge now. Has one charge. What can they do with it? Ooh, okay, okay. The a good usage away. of the projectile. There goes the teleport. That is a key in this matchup, but Sector 7 does not have a lot of health to work with. That's nope. a double KO and within a the same perfect. one. I know, right? That match was fast. It was no more than a minute and a half. Solania just definitely doing, showing the Lord's work in Sector 7, the Velvet uh, experience. Of course. What's going to happen now? Yeah, it would be interesting to see Sector actually change his gameplay to try to deal with, oh my god, walk up jab to start the match, not letting Solania get any means of far range play here. What's going to do with it now? Oh, I was low. There goes that setup there. Tries to catch the roll, but unfortunately, you are invincible when you do uh, activate the roll animation. Yes. And uh, for Sector 7, wasn't able to catch the recovery off of that roll. Yeah. So now he's back uh, where Velvet wants him to be. What's going to happen now? Okay. Ooh, ooh. You know what's going to happen. It's just going to be the help of the game. Oh my god, was that heavy from, from mid-range? Jesus Christ. The push block, though, on Sector 7 is good. Oh, we've seen that a lot more than before. And it looks like there's a little bit of uh, pressure here from the setup actually able to catch Solarnia trying to jab in between that frame. Look at this beautiful combo in the corner. Getting one, two, two drive meters. What's going to do with it, though? You're already using one for the trap. Again, to continue, but no super to, to finish the combo. Solania definitely uh, cracking in between the pressure. What can she do? Ooh, well, there we go. That's all we needed. The overhead, and that's yeah. dead. Oh, my God. This is almost game point for Solania. Yeah, in first to two settings like this game, you have to be very much uh, adapting yes. quickly and rapidly. It's very important to do so. Uh, and much more for Sector 7, who doesn't really have a lot of games to work with, does go for the teleport option. Oh. But unfortunately, with no spell in Oleander's spell gauge, that teleport's not going to really do much except try to move forward. Exactly. And it's weird because he was throwing out normals. Oh, no! We blocked it in time, thank God. Throwing oh. out normals. No, it's no. too high! Oh, my God. Too Solania. high, and unfortunately, was still getting punished and getting damage on it. Tries to jump in, but Solania getting grabbed, and this is the start of maybe something here for Sector 7. Gets the side switch twice, and able to charge up on the spell meter. Actually has full gauge to work with. She just did a DP just to get out, and I didn't think it would be fully invincible, and now Velvet is, is, is in optimal standings to at least get Sector, uh, Sector 7 move away from her. So now, what's gonna happen? Because he has to play smart and clean this next... Oh, never mind. There is no clean play because Hedger 7 is out at 12th place here at Combo Breaker. And that means Lania makes it the top eight loser side. High CNC State TV. Congratulations, you did well. You did well, I'm, I'm appreciative. Seeing a Haitian sister make it up to top eight. Bless you, bless you. Thank you, Sector, for playing. You did your best. We liked the adaptation, or the least the adaptation mid-match. Here we are, getting ready for the next game. Now, so playing? that leads into, uh, we have Bubble bubble Boat Boop that's going with Arizona top eight. Yes. We have uh, MPK, I believe. Texas. With Texas, correct. Mm -hmm, yes. Uh, we have uh, Asiago with Paprika. Yes. We now have Solania with Velvet. Velvet, yes. Uh, we also have, uh, I believe, Chan Ho as well. Well, not yet. Sasha hasn't. No, it's Raz Razor Dodge. Oh, yes, yes. He did beat Suplex. He does make On it out. On the winner's side, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So right now, we're really trying to see how far these players can go in this loser side of things because this is this is your last chance. This is the loan. 
who yep. actually lost against Ra uh, Ranger X. Yes, he did. It, it was crazy because Delone is very well known in online play. Mm -hmm. So for him not to make it out winner's side, it was an interesting experience. But now, this match is a toss-up because I don't think these guys have it played did. each other before. No, I, I don't have all. any record of Shadow King at all. So I have no... Besides well, this match, these matches today, I have not that much knowledge. So we definitely can tell that Shadow King has a very strong Arizona. Yes. Right? Yes. And that is actually really interesting to see. He is just driven to try to make it into this top eight. Oh, and that is really awesome to see. And then, of course, the lone... Uh, while was not into the loser side of things, has the paprika, one of the more stronger paprikas that we've seen today. Um, did have to deal with that mirror match, so it's always not really fun to deal yes. in the mirror match. But definitely something to keep in mind as we see these two players go back and forth. Uh, it's really all or nothing here for them. Now, we did see a Paprika Arizona match earlier today. Uh, I wonder if the result will be the same. A strong, fantastic Arizona over Paprika, or we'll see a mix-up in the lone coming all the way back, taking out Shadow King, who's, who, you know, I'm excited to see the results. I'm just waiting for these guys to get their buttons set up. Um, One thing that Shadow King, Shadow King knows the matchup really well. Yes. I think what was a key f defining factor on the opponent's side of things is Baltoist when that was the uh, Arizona versus the Paprika match. Yes, there we go. There Baltoist go. was not really setting up on the heart knockdown. We know that Delone is able to do so because yes. that was one of the biggest highlights in the mirror match with uh, Asiago. Yes, yes, yes. But we also know that the uh, Shadow King will be waiting for the teleports. We'll be waiting for the flash kicks so he can punish him just as he did the previous match earlier. So it's going to be an interesting adjustment to see how these two play against each other. I love how they start the round with the little land, the kisses. Yeah, damn, that's a lot of damage. Wait a minute, Jesus Christ alone. Oh, the Oki. We started with lows. That's a mix, baby. You get hit in the corner. This is a lot of damage Overhead? against nope. uh, or Shadow King right now. There goes the push box, and once more, we start it up. Gets the lasso. Gets the reset. Just keep it going. There we go. Put him back in the corner. Nope. They're both waiting. They're Ooh. both like, no, we're not going to press buttons. He's waiting for the flash. He was waiting for the teleport. But the lone knows full well that Shadow King will be waiting for these little moments to get his turn back. But too bad. The lone has the meter, has the damage has the pressure and he will take it over shadow king <laughs> i love it at the end actually gave the little kiss in the in the ender of the combo <laughs> is that a button is that a is that a move because it might be the top move it is funny you see them like that little smooch oh Aww. there it is <laughs> let me kiss you in the mouth my bro yeah come over here yeah ah uh, 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 uh. he kissed him again do it do it okay back dashing a, a little bit away but that actual being aware of the amount of damage that Shadow King was going to do was actually causing him a little bit scared. Ooh. Does get the cross up. A bit of a hitbox there uh, from that side. Side. Oh, the rope. So now he's definitely made sure to space all of his rope combos while to punish in neutral or in combo. But the lone was not going to let that happen. He definitely misspaced it and got hit trying to rope him up. Oh, the two-sided mix. Who's was going to hit this? Those kids be killing me. The, the cinnamon roll or the normal? Oh, there it is, finally. Okay. All right, all right, we'll see. Teleport, back oh. from the same side. You have to guess whether it will be from front or back. So that way, they can get that hit. They hit confirm off that. That is super. The lone. One over Shadow King. Not the same player from earlier. Shadow no. King has to change his gameplay because the lone will not fall for just throwing out moves. He's not going to just flash. He's not going to just teleport. He's going to make sure. Oh, as I say that, he did it. Oh my god. I almost shot my mouth. I've been proven wrong. The lone will teleport whenever he wants. I one thing to note here is Shadow King is probably still waiting for the more wild, riskier attempts that we've seen from before Paprikas. Whereas the lone's playing like honestly fundamentally really solid. Oh definitely more sound. Mine is his little, you know, back forth, back forth. There we go. Ooh. There goes nah. the cinnamon roll. Ooh, he's gonna teleport with it. Okay, there we go. It disappeared. Delone is now actually uh, getting his own beating from his little, you know, whiff attacks and block attack. He's gonna do. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, that cross did not work. She did not short hop. She definitely long jumped. There we go. Ooh. This is optimal damage right now as Delone tries to get the corner carry, gets the wall slap, the actually gets the up. cross up. But nothing comes from it. And then she, she blocked the armored move. Paprika doing damage, air drag, and continues the combo. Oh my god, look at the damage. 
Nope, not gonna argue perfect. Oh, oh, the armor, unfortunately, recovering too slow and allowing the loan to punish it. Shadow King has to like chill with the just throwing out the armor because he's expecting the loan to hit. Like like in between with resets and he's just he's just throwing it out and not getting stuck for it. Ooh, ooh, nope. Front side. Yeah, okay, good. He's not gonna fall for it again. Yeah, he did Shadow very King. well. Shadow King's been good at like actually learning twice that um to not fall for the same trick over and over again. So something to keep in mind here for the loan has to go into the next layer, but there goes that side switch. There goes the cinnamon roll. And Gets the kick oh. into the hit stun. Super? No way. He's not gonna. He just did it. Just did it. Four times. Oh my god. And that means the loan takes it over Shadow King. Shadow King has been knocked out at 12th place. The loan, you made it into top eight, loses side. Ready to play later today. GG's to both players very strong characters strong players it's just you know sometimes it has to happen right you're getting into top eight and some people just have to go home with that yeah. with that and it's, it's a bit sad but definitely a learning experience also again there's going to be more tfh of course. just in the future this is just the start of an awesome time offline there's many different tournaments you can go to but comic breaker definitely does give them fighting herds the oodles amount of love and care and getting to see us here on the main stage at Camel Breaker showing off this this small indie game next to plenty of other fighting games that are huge and giving us the time and place to, to support and celebrate what is main six systems fighting herd we thank first of all Camel Breaker thank you for that I love this fantastic event uh thank you for having us commentated I'm excited to talk more about this game but now you have to understand this is it I'm back on stage <laughs> it's me again there I am, taking my shirt off. I don't know why, but I am. Uh, he, I'm getting ready, excited, chat. You have to understand, there's two of me, all right? There's me, and then there's me over there. You'll see him on stage. You saw him already play. Black Atlas and Black Diamond, two of the same people in one, or two bodies, I should say, ready to show off this game. He's putting the hat back on. <laughs> he is. He's he putting is. the hat back on. He has I, to. I need you to scream Hono Tensei when you do that level three. It's movie time, baby. Yeah, <laughs> look at him, he's goofy. Yo, yo, camera, just, just, just go to him for a second. I need, I need the chat to see this. Look he's at just, that man. He's, he's just staring chilling. at the camera. Yeah, look at that handsome he man, knows, respectfully. He knows what's up. Yeah, that's crazy. I love that guy. And man, he actually him. plays with the hat on. Yes, he will, 1,000%. <laughs> 1,000%. <laughs> <1, 000%. laughs> we saw Snooplex earlier. That was, um, well, of course, this was interesting because this was mm -hmm. starting off as Arizona yes. versus Razor, then switched to Strong. Who oh, yes. Could not really do much against uh, Tian Ho with Strong. Who. So this is going to be tough because Sasha, I would say, is definitely top three uh, Tian Ho player in, in, in all of the fighting here. Definitely top three. And I'm not biased. I'm, I know I'm up there playing, but I'm not biased. I, I think fundamentally he's a very tough Tian Ho. What? I will be biased. He is the best 10-hole player here. But uh, <laughs> it's definitely crazy to see Suplex deal with one good 10 lose, and then has to deal with the best 10 -hole. Now, he Suplex also uh, a, another strong player, just yes. again plays many games. Yes. I'm sure this is another matchup that I they probably have, have played often. It, honestly, when you start seeing how these brackets go, Ready? especially from like pools to top 16 and then into top eight, it's like all of these players are met in with fate to actually go up against each other. Now, this is not the first time they play each other in bracket. To make it into top 16 last year, Suplex almost knocked out Black Atlas in losers last year for, for combo breaker. So it is the run back. Now they're both higher in place. Loser if this goes to 12, winner if this goes to top eight. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real biased with you. I, I wanna win. It's me up there. He shake his hand, shake his hand, handsome. Yep. And now it's time for this great match. Black Atlas versus Suplex. A, a, a Blaze Blue player and a Dragon Ball player meeting together at those fighting herds to throw hands. <laughs> so can we see Come, Arizona make power. a change in her battle against this Chen Wo as opposed to the last one? Let's find out. Ooh, he said, I'm gonna wait right here. I'm not gonna do nothing. Oh, but the aerial mix, I would've got hit with two. No, it's a heavy, that's right. That is a jumping mix up. What are you gonna do about it, Sasha? Look at about it. There we go. The low, baby. And now begins the mix. The schmix. Put him in the corner. Do the air grab. Is it a high, baby? No, no it's a low. Dead. Going for the low Ooh, this time. The, the mini, he it on it. The minute he flew, he said, nah, I know it's not real. I'm going to definitely poke it out of the air. Ooh, okay, okay. Ooh. There you go. Sasha already has enough meter to do two drive uh, jump cancels. Okay, that's good. It's fine. He just mixed up the timing. 
Nasaka trying to play neutral a little. There we go. Exactly. That was from the, the, the magic meter. That instant air B is from his drive. So strong. Not a lot of damage, but guess what? Nope. Ooh. I love that. Actually gliding over, waiting patiently for the roll, and then getting the no. side switch, but no! The Gugnir didn't work. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. That's just a lose. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. He, he didn't knew. have enough meter to actually continue with the uh, second part of the super. That's okay. That's okay. He, he, wants, he wants to catch him out of the air. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that's right. Ooh, there we go. There the goes. Goes. And guess what? He's going to kill. Boop, 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 Yeah, you boop. have to. Level one. And here we go. Jesus, Sasha. Right Damn. there. The high execution into the super level two. All Very of, nicely done. All of those hits for only like a quarter of the health. All that work Tanner has to put in, but you know what? I'm not complaining. He's honestly, very strong. honestly, I was a little bit scared there for Black Atlas because I've seen some people be like, "Hey, I have this kill now because I'll be able to actually dish out the damage." But no, sometimes you you get worried about the scaling. Yep. And so he'll reset instead, but he made sure to get that high damage combo. It's gonna be low, baby. Oh, it's a grab! I got hit by that too. It'll be a grab. No, it's a little high this time. Man, ooh, he delayed it. He delayed it again. My friends, I don't know if you noticed know that bar is getting really high up. It, no, it's not movie time anymore. I woke. Then Mac. Needled. Heavy dash, heavy dash, heavy dash. Heavy wow. Dash. Ooh, the oh. mix! And it's still a perfect! That beautiful Yo. mix for all generations will come to revere the true savers of the empire. Oh my god. Black Atlas, you better honest. tip your hat on that one. That you was a it, gorgeous mix. Milady me, you. Sasha. Milady me. <laughs> <laughs> there I'm you go. There we go. <laughs> oh, the cringe. Now we've hit full circle. My God! <laughs> Amazing stuff there, though, from Black, Black Atlas. That was awesome to see how you can just really just dish out damage with oh, Gendo. Yes. And not even just dish out damage. It's mostly just letting the player hang themselves uh, yes. with just whipping buttons, like we just saw just now, for not being prepared for her crazy high-low mix. Tiago doesn't need damage because guess what? Take a guess. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There goes that oh. fly again. But Suplex waking up and actually trying to anti-air. Great insta block into the push block. And actually getting the lasso going. Oh. And another lasso tries to go for the overhead. Double ooh. overhead. I would have gotten prepared hit. for the low though. That's right, fine. Ooh, but there you go. The drive uh, uh, jumping medium. Put into the corner. Command grab in the air. Or the hit. No, he doesn't. Alright, it's fine. He rolls out, gets punished for the roll. Guess what? Ooh, no. There we go. He blocked that too. The lady! The mix! I'm in front of you. I'm behind you. It don't matter. You're getting kicked in your chins, Arizona. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Another glide tries Ooh. to catch an, uh, again from Ooh. Suplex, but the, the air grab. The second person to air grab in this entire tournament. Missed the combo. It may Ooh. be detrimental. Oh, my God. All right, look at it. Punish him. No, no, no. He doesn't do it. He doesn't reach all the way. I thought that he would fly all across the map. I was... Oh, my God! It hit! He grabbed him out the skies. He said, where you flying to, boy? Where you flying to, baby? You ain't got the permit to fly out here, son. That is a no landing zone for you. No, it is not. My God. There's a command grab. Ooh, he did medium nice. light. So that way, Arizona does press the button. He has to. Oh, he has to block. He has that block. Ooh, and then guess what? Guess what? He's gonna do it again. He's gonna do it again. Lo oh, the I love these loops. These loops are so nice from uh, Black Atlas. And it looks, it, it catches Suplex off guard every single time. And here we go. We're gonna go for the glide again. Tries to wait patiently to see what the wake up options Ooh, from Suplex the, are coming from. The Alpha Counter. No one's ever done it this entire tournament to get him out. That Ooh. doesn't matter though. Pasha has him in the corner again. Look at this. Jesus. Ooh, oh. No perfect, no perfect. No, no perfect, no perfect. Oh, he's gonna hit him again. No, no! Ooh, oh my he bought gosh. everything! The defense! Is this Daigo? The Yo. defense! Oh my god! No! Oh. Like, no! Whoa. Jesus, that is spooky! He said you 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 get hit. That's a spook that's a spooky that's a spooky dragon. Oh my god. That was so good defense and I mean up until the last section where it's like, what else can you do? When do you challenge? You don't you don't challenge Shenbo. This baby's crazy. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you hey. just got, I got hit. I, I got, got hit. hit. I got, I got hit. hit. You hit me. 100%. We're all, we're, all of us here in the stands, all of us here watching, we got hit. Chat got hit. We got hit. Suplex. Ooh, oh, there you go. Back. Beautiful okay. anti-air from Suplex. Not, just dropped the combo, though. 
and not gonna be able to start pressure. And Black Atlas responds accordingly, gets the hard knockdown, and gets the overhead as well. Oh my god, no! It's not gonna happen! No way! He's gonna no, okay, okay. I thought he was oh. gonna do it. Oh, it's one of the he wanted, he wanted movie time, guys. All right, guys, chat. Chat and everybody here, let's listen to me. He wants movie time. He wants movie time. It's all it is. He's going to give it up for movie time. Don't worry. He's going to recover. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, okay, okay. Oh, no. the folks, the jobs. He... Drop it. You're going to drop it. You're going to drop it. You're going to drop it. I told you. No way. I told Stop. you. Stop. What? With the pick set up? Oh. Oh. No. He did it! it oh, he missed the movie time. He missed me. Oh it would have been God. crazy. It would have been crazy. Yeah. Look at us. Oh man, look at us. We're here now. Would you believe it? We're here. We are. I'm. I need like a minute to recover. I need a minute to recover. I'm not gonna lie. My. I was at the edge. I'm at the edge of my seat because that was a pixel of health. Hear and me. this man was trying to risk it all for, for the movie. He, I, uh, the whole time, I'm like, all right, I see three bars. He's not finishing the combo. I know for a fact my man wants movie time. He didn't get it, though. He, didn't, he, he did it at the end. He didn't get it, though. But you know what? I like it. I like it. You know what else that means, though? What? Black oh. Atlas will be moving on to into top, top Oh, eight. I forgot all about that. Top eight exists. No, stop. <laughs> I thought he won the tournament. I honestly, it was honestly, <laughs> that's points. For me, that's a winner. That's oh, yeah. like right there a winner. Saying. Put him back in the winner's bracket. Not coming outside. He's good. He, he, did, he did the hard work. It's all right. No, I'm stop. <laughs> it is just so crazy how Black Atlas had such a great awareness of what Suplex was trying to do. And Suplex also was just as scared, too. Like, the scramble in that last minute gets the jab, but Mrs. wasn't confident Bo to yeah. actually continue into the juggle. It, 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 it's tough. It's tough. Because once Tianhu has you, once... Magneto dra a Dragon Horse has you in the corner. By the way, good match, you gave me. You, me did, a heart you, did, you did pretty good, me. You did pretty good, me. Good, good job, good job. All right, bye -bye. but uh, watching, watching that that clutch at the end, Jesus Christ. And I knew Flash was like, I'm gonna wait. He's gonna hit me. It's fine. I want movie time. I'll do whatever it takes for movie time. He didn't get it, but you know, uh, we're gonna talk about it later. But right now, it is the very last match to get in the top eight. Linkser versus Poco. Yes. Now I'm gonna be real with you. I want Poco to win. I, 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 actually, I, need Tom. I I actually want Strong Goof to win. Who's strong? No, it's that guy got I go. really, <laughs> really want Strong Goof to win. I just want to see that character again on screen. I, I'm going back home, getting Strong Goof, and actually learning that character because that character is just too cool. He, too, too, he, too cool. He's an interesting individual because it's seeing these different uh, 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 archetype players. Like, we have a, a stand character already. Not really, actually, no, because Velvet doesn't use her little doll much. Uh, I guess you can count uh, Oleander's, you know, uh, what's his name, Steve, uh, the big boy, <laughs> seeing him as like a, like a Car Clover player. But Strong Hoof isn't just like a Car Clover player because the, the little guy isn't there for everything. Strong Hoof has such strong, aggressive normals, strong aggressive specials that he can stuff anybody out mid-screen round start. My man's wearing a Tatsu mask. I need one of those. I gotta buy one of those. My man got that, got that, got that good taste. We like these fighting games, baby. The new button check right now. I'm excited to watch Poco and Linkster. Uh, Poco, so, please take it. I'm sorry, I'm not being biased. Poco, please take it. <laughs> so uh, it looks like it could be Paprika as well versus Palm. We did see this, I think, before actually. And this was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was Shadow King versus. No, it was not Shadow King. My apologies. It was actually. Uh, oh, it was going interesting because we. No, it was actually Black Atlas versus Sylvie. That we saw Palm not really do well, but then we yes. saw uh, Poco. He was Poco. actually the one who won the last yeah. one as oh, Palm. It was Meow Mix versus Poco. Yeah, so it is a Paprika Palm match again. Ready? Oh, that's Blue's Clues colors, man. We like it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Steve beat his ass. Steve beat him up. Beat his ass. You know, show him, show him the way of the dog. Ooh. So now, look at that. So again, strong neutral normals and setting him with the dog, resetting with the teleport dash. Now back to neutral. We're gonna do. We sick him. There we go. Keep him blocking what a low. Jump in. I know, right? Very strong. Poco doing his best. Ooh, ooh. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. It almost looks and like that's a, that's a multi-hit jump in as well. So look at this pump already getting on a perfect KO. It's very a hook perfect. Close. It's a hook perfect. Very, very, very close. It's a hook perfect. Don't worry. <laughs> we 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 understand. We understand the assignment. It's cool. <laughs> Lost almost no health there. Very nicely done there from yes, he Poco. Did. My God, he's very strong. Ooh, Poco blocking start from Linkser. Let's see what he can do now. Oh, damn, Patrick has long normals. Jesus. Ooh, well, I mean, it, it, she's an alpaca, so it, it does make sense. But my, ooh, what's gonna happen now? They go hitting him low, overhead, juggle, kiss them in the air. 
A little short hop. Ooh, ooh. Pom putting pressure in the corner. Definitely trying to at least pressure. Pony that block. teleport, baby. I think Linkser has definitely gotten too used to just teleporting to mix people up. So Coco just waiting with his good neutral, just saying, you know, I'm gonna wait, do something. I heard sick him, but no movement happened after that. Yeah, it looks like it was just a cancel from that, or it was just so close that there was not much to do there. Once again, the, there goes the animation on the doggo, but Linkster, able to respond accordingly, brings out the broccoli. Don't eat it, don't eat it. Don't, don't do it. All right, Link is away from it, but too bad, because now Link's gonna take the win off this round, as long as he can drop the combo, and there it is, Linkster with uh, one, one against Poco. Links are waking up and doing extremely well in that last round, whereas Poco also keeping up, uh, but not able to set up as oh much. Oh my wow. god, he didn't even wait to block the, the anti-air to the teleport. You can do get stuff out of the air, that damage though! Pop. There goes all the doggles on the screen with the big blue dog! My god. I wonder if they have a separate debate right dog color stamp for this You character. read my mind. Oh it's my. so <laughs> crazy how you read my mind. I'm like, I wonder if there's like a big red doggo. I got you, don't worry, Saki. We share the same brains out today. Ooh, 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 ooh. This dance again. again! He Oh my god, no second dog. Perfect. Oh my gosh! Couple's like, you coming, you going back to Canada with only top 12 points. That's it. You ain't coming and taking these wins, baby. Is this That's way? insane. That was a lot of damage. Yes, it was. Yo, yeah, take a breather, my man. You got this, don't worry. I'm going open. No, I'm stop. <laughs> Links are trying his best to recompose himself. Blocking neutral. Palm is very good with it. Oh, there you go, good, perfect. He blocked the overhead, multi-hitting cross-up. We appreciate that. Puts the apple right there. Oh, he's setting up pressure below. What's he gonna do now? Oh, she got out with the teleport uh, run. Very nicely done. That's actually perfect so that you don't have to stay in that corner anymore. Yep. And this works out well for Poco. Does try to catch the air to air, but unfortunately, Linkster was just ahead of the game. That low hit. Poco getting stuck with everything. Ooh. No overheads. He ate it anyway. He ate it right in front of him. All right, Link said that was a little bit disrespectful. Here goes Man the grab. grab. Ooh, 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 ooh. Kissed him. He said, come here, come over here, girl. You get love. Nice. Damn, Link was pissed. He was like, you know what? I'm going to give you the kiss of death, baby. You dying right here. That is crazy. The comeback. Poco's neutral is going to get stuffed if he doesn't back up. There we go. Perfect. And he still got stuffed. Oh, my God. That grab was immaculate. And we're going to kiss keep on this pressure there goes the broccoli once Teleport. more yeah. beautiful job there from poco to get out of the corner and sets up the doggos they're all ready to go in on linkster three doggos now on the screen but no longer only one more ooh, ooh. Oh, okay g we rolled out that's good quick, probably quick recovery on the ground oh he hit the you can't be hitting our dog like that man that's not no no we, we don't appreciate that i appreciate it. we'll be hitting these dogs they did nothing to you Ooh, ooh, ooh. They're about to do some real pressure. Interesting push block defense, and right there, Links are able to actually get catch in on the low and get the full on corner carry, bringing out the cinnamon roll. There goes the grab, and we're just keeping that carry going. What's gonna happen now? We're probably gonna have some OP, and, and then the basket. It can explode. Oh. Okay. And then explosion? No. Oh, he oh. blocked it though. Okay, there you go. You all right. blocked all of that. That's crazy. His neutral was a match. Very nice. Jesus. You know, we were just saying, Poco was taking this game so dominantly. All mm -hmm. the all Lixer needed was just a moment of breath to catch himself yep. and reset. You know, compose himself and say, you know what? I'm not losing today. This is match point. Not match point yet, but this is, you know, the last game for these two. Someone's going home and someone's becoming top eight player. Ooh, 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 Poco. Definitely not used to the transition and uh, acclimation of Linkster's new fundamentals. In neutral, what's gonna do? Oh my god, the OP, baby. Wow, Get hit by the pot or the low. This is perfect right now for Linkster. All of this pressure, but Poco wakes up and actually gets out of the corner. There's the flash kick, baby. We love those. Ooh, ooh, what's gonna do? He picked up the little cinder roll. No, no flash up. Got grabbed out of it. Yeah, Bombs, like combos. That, that was where the grab came in. He got hit by because she ran past him. So the dog definitely hit. He didn't know where to block. And now Palms if he can try to take his match back. 
back into neutral. There goes the two doggos. They're inching closer and closer. There's Does one get hits. the hit in. Ooh, but nothing comes for me. The oh, tag. Wait, get the grab, get the grab. Good, good, perfect. The teleport. Oh. I would have never noticed. No oh. one, no one saw the teleport coming. I would have gotten hit. But you know what? That's what Paprika players do. Yes. That's what they do. Jesus. It's funny because most of the teleports this entire tournament have either been stuffed or blocked the entire time. So seeing Linkster get away with a solid teleport in neutral, no one expected it. Ooh, ooh. So now what's gonna happen? Coco, you're definitely going. You're, you're, you're in a deficit. You can definitely come back with a good neutral. There we go. Fundamentals. There you go, baby. Oh, the doggos. There goes the big blue one. There we go. All right, back to the pressure. Poco is known for putting you in, in a blender with these two dogs on the screen. Ooh, damn, my combo's still going. This is insane damage. No dogs on the screen. He lost, she lost for OT, but that's fine. There you go. There we go. Poco's out of the corner now. The only issue is Poco's out of the corner in a combo, getting hit by a Paprika. Linkster putting pressure. Doesn't care about the, 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 the push block. Doesn't care about the dog behind him. The dog disappeared. She's going to cross him up. Oh, my this God. This could be it for Linkster. This Just gets. a great setup. Able to do There goes the super. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. And then the basket. Yep. Basket. Not going to be explosion? able to go into another super, explosion? however. No, no explosion. Oh, there was explosion, Ooh. but ran right out. Oh, you better run. You better run. You better run. Okay, yeah, yeah, perfect. Block it. Oh, the third oh. dog. Yes. Palm is not going down easy. Put up the pressure. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Overhead. No. Oh, oh no. I got, hit. got hit. I got hit. I thought it was going to be an overhead. I thought it was going to be little kicks, but not today. The teleport gets back. The teleport gets oh, back. You Poco. You're coming back. I'm not losing for free today. We are going. One of you is going home. We are going final game, final round right now here for TFH. Top 16, this is all or nothing for these two players as they're trying to get into top eight. There's no way. Palm, Palm, you doing too good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's crazy seeing Linkster's acclimation to this match and then seeing Poco do the same thing. Now it's even, even, even Stevens, no pun intended, Foosies. But now watching, ooh, cross up. There that goes that cross up. up. I got hit, I got hit bad. And oh. grab up the roll. This might be game. This might be it indeed. Able Ooh. to get the apple out. She oh, grabbed him back. I grabbed two, baby. Reversal. It's not free. I'm not free at all today. Mm. Goes into the super. Mm. There goes all the doggos. Ooh, ooh. No overhead. All right, it's fine. Oh, the flash kick. This is bad. Oh, my God. She's actually could be done. This she has enough meter for level three. Oh, my God. No. Oh, there okay. goes. Super. That's it. That's into game. the super. And to the last part of that super. Explosion. He's still doing it. All right. He's like, you know what? I was ready with the fist. I'm still pressing buttons. That's all that matters. I'm still pressing buttons. Oh, Very my goodness. Very good stuff to Congrats, Coco, making it into top eight for later. Links are doing his best. Wait, no, Poco lost. I'm sorry. Poco made it out of 12th place. Yeah. Links are made it to top eight. I got my man's confused. I was excited for Poco. I'm sorry. I was rooting for Poco. I'm, that's my bad. Commentator's curse. I'll accept it. But you know what? This is a swell top 16. Sorry, it yeah, is. top 16. It was a great top 16 indeed, but don't go anywhere. We're going to go into a quick break, and then we're going to be heading into TFH top eight. Top eight. So you I'm don't want to miss anywhere. Black Diamond, it was a pleasure being able to commentate with you, especially with for an awesome game like this. Saki, it was, it was a pleasure to be here to talk mad smack about this game <laughs> and just be excited to see these players do well, seeing me on stage and behind, you know, commentator's desk. And a reminder, play them Fighting Herds. It's definitely worth it. It's a it, very fun game. It's actually on sale right now, I believe, on Steam. You have no reason not to try it out. It's a great time. Go play it. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to go on to some breaks and then get ready for Top 8. There's plenty more Combo Breaker 2023 action coming at you on the way. But first, let's take a quick commercial break. If you want to add to your Combo Breaker Merch Legacy Collection, don't forget to head over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. Get yours before they run out. I'm undefeated in overtime Graffiti in your city with legacy Then you know it's mine If you got a bar you aspire to Then I wrote the line Buy yourself a drink when you celebrate And then hold in mind Job not finished man They all talk different Cuff 
comfortable trying to pretend that they something they isn't. Is that one round proof something? I ain't gotta move nothing. With my hand over the room and they fucking move from it. Play tectonics, the mountain about to start running. Rappers all lie like a movie somebody crowdfunded. Drown from it. Hustlers say it's no days off. Gorillas always tell you hard work pays off. Welcome back to Them's Fighting Herds Top 8 at Combo Breaker 2023. I'm Oreo, to my left is Cam, and we are going to be your commentators here for an incredibly stacked TFH Top incredibly 8. Incredibly stacked. Even looking at this first match that we're going into, it's going to be Bubble Boots versus Asiago. And they're like two of the best players that we have in the community, and they're first, round, the top first round Top 8. And it's not going to get any easier than this. Not even remotely. No, it's, gonna, it's just going to be killers on killers. I mean, look, we are... I'm just we got it on screen right, right here. there. Like, like I, the first names that popped up to me is Black Atlas versus Linkster. That's gonna be a crazy match too. And, and that's, that's already in losers. in losers. That's losers eights. All of these people have a chance to win, and some of them are already in losers. How did this even happen? There is, were so many people here that, is that could what, take this. Is that what the loan signed up with as the name? It's the loan. I, 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 okay, I, was, I say the loan. Okay, okay, side. okay. I see. I yes, the loan is there. Yeah, good. Okay. I was I was afraid <laughs> for a second the loan was doing another joke name. No, <laughs> we we actually got lucky this time. We knew it was the loan. We, we knew it was the this. loan. Good, good. But yeah, we're about to get into it. Bubble Boots versus Asiago. They definitely know each other. You know, they've been playing. They play very much a so. lot. Both oh. have been playing for quite some time. Both very strong players in their own regard. Both very different players in their own regard oh, as well. Extremely, yes. Uh, I would say Bubble Boots is like a more has a more careful, like, considered approach. Bubble is incredibly patient, especially on defense, almost yeah. to a fault at some points in time. But that really is what allows him to solidify his play where he is. But either way, this is going to be... Okay, so what's what's the start? What? Backdash. Backdash? Ready? Backdash from both players? Just bubble. Just bubble? Oh, yep, 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 yep. Gets kind of hit with the 5B, Put though. Pepper, these pokes are so, so long. Oh, doesn't quite get the hard knockdown here. It's fine. Still gets the pressure. Picking very smart places to push block so that he can get some stomp pokes out. In turn, takes the corner back. Ooh, busts out immediately with a D head buff. Gonna get the restand with the mix. He went up into 6A into the low. That's a uh, it's a bait because 6A is jump cancelable, you know. That makes it 50-50. Oh, tries, tries to, to armor through, again. but too many hits on the card A. Gets put right back into the corner. Is he going to be able to... Ooh. Oh, bait oh. out the armor, but doesn't manage to scope out the overhead. Oh, there's that jump cancel 6A. Doesn't actually press a button, though. Empty. I'm not sure exactly what he's going for there. I couldn't tell you. I'm still in shambles from the counter into the overhead. <laughs> okay, immediately gets the 2D rope. He's going to build as much uh, magic here as possible. Gets all three stocks. And still manages to get the hard knockdown. Ooh, Ooh Asiago uses, baits out the counter and punishes. Uses the 6cc as a bait to make sure that if Bubble wanted to press something, he was ready. Okay, gonna go right into Super. Probably just for the hard knockdown. I don't think he's gonna... Oh, he's There's gonna pop level, level two. 2. Basket. What do we got going? He's gonna use it for the mix. Oh, that's bad RNG, though. None of the potted plants managed to hit on Bubble's side. Bubble wakes up with the Super, and unfortunately, Asiago was already waiting for it. And there goes the round, and that's the first game, game down. Game one to Asiago. Two, two straight. That was a good adjustment from Asiago, seeing a bubble boots busting out of the corner so many times, and then just hard baiting it. Very much so. Being aware of the magic usage and tendencies of an Arizona player is key to any kind of offensive situation. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. otherwise, 
it's not your offensive situation anymore. Yeah, Bubble Boost is definitely going to route and opt for building as much magic as possible, as early as possible, so he has those opportunities to uh, use those really strong magic moves in order to get out of any pressure that Asiago can put Both down. defensively and offensively, as we've already seen, once you get that wall stick off of the magic headbutt, you can use another magic stop going and for the chase mix off down. Of 6A. Nobody home, good block from Asiago. Gonna get the restand, another mix opportunity. Ooh, there's Ooh. The, there's probably the mix we wanted to see from earlier. Empty, Empty jump jumping to low. low. Asiago poking out, trying to set up some Brock. Oh, tries to press the button falling and accidentally lands canceled before the uh, the, the active frames of jumpy. Asiago ready to punish it. Okay, solid neutral right now. Oh, catches him with the low rope and again. And there's the stomp chain. Wow, that killed. I didn't expect it to kill, actually. Mess with the cow, you get the horse. A lot of stray hits from Bubble coming in, bringing down the health bar real fast. And if it becomes a game between stray hits for both characters, uh, Arizona definitely wins that. So those I, counter hits are going to be way more damage. They're going to do way more damage, but Asiago has the the advantage when it comes to the Ooh. range of those pokes. Gets the OTG off the no-tech option from Asiago. Okay, hard knockdown. Asiago waking up the flop, unfortunately. Oh, no Ooh. punish on the flop! Tries to go right into super, gets punished by Asiago. This is going to be a bad look for Bubble, going to be knocked down in the corner. What's the mix? Broccoli. Ooh, Ooh just patient. Wait. Asiago is still hard baiting out all of these reversal options. Except this time, goes right for the meaty kiss. Gonna end in flop. Right into flop super. super. Gonna spend it. Nope, gonna hold on to that meter. Ooh, just hits him low. I'm not entirely sure what Bubble Boost is trying to do there. Maybe he's just trying to up back in the corner? I think Bubble knows well enough not to up back against Paprika in the corner like that. But he may have something else in mind that he's trying to get to. Okay. Nice patience. Asiago just letting Arizona play her stop game, but accidentally gets opened up on the second stop. Oh, but flops out. Not wanting Bubble to take his turn. Ooh, barely got that block on the jump C. A lot of great neutral interactions, and finally a stomp into the D head bug. Bubble gets to really get going here. Oh. No 2D, didn't quite space far enough out of the corner to get that route. Asiago is picking very good points to try and press on disadvantage. And it I is think we're going to see a basket out. here. No, no basket this time. He's going for hard knockdown. Kiss. I think Asiago is saving the meter to try and use basket to close it out here at the end. I'm going to put down the apple. That prevents Arizona from pressing any buttons out. Oh, goes for the overhead option and gets poked out of it. The counter hit to oh, see no damage. Combo. Blocks the flop. Counter hit from Bubble. The oh. instant block on the second hit of flop kept Bubble Boots alive. And now we're going all the way to the other side. Bubble living on a prayer. He needs to get all the damage he could possibly get out of this and hope that he doesn't get. Oh, cross counter. Literally no health. Oh, is he going to instant block oh. this? Oh, no. It's just too much. Put out too much stuff to instant block at one time. Was not able to do it. Bubble immediately gets sent to loser's bracket by Asiago. This oh. top eight is crazy. Here we can see in the replay, Bubble tried to instant block. He managed to instant block the super, but couldn't quite get the timing for the, the uh, potted, potted plant. plant. It's, got a, it's got a weird travel arc through the air, it so it's kind of hard to, to block it. And then he would have had to block the second hit of potted plant, which would have been, I mean, it's doable. He would have had to instant block it's, three things, but it was definitely, and it would have been safe then, which means Asiago had pressure afterwards. The biggest problem with it is that after that first hit of pot, there's a normal coming. And yeah, you have to instant block that to at least keep yourself safe from anything else coming after that. And then there's the second hit of pot as well. Which he would have had to instant block. Yes. Yes. It, and it's, it's a lot it to was, ask. It and was then, very much a chain of events that was going to be very difficult to get through. And it would have led to a block string and probably more special moves from Paprika, which means more instant blocks you got to do. And she's got so many multi-hit uh, special moves. She could have just done cart and just chipped them out. It would have just been cart A. Yeah. No, I don't I don't think there's much bubble could have done in that situation. But, you know, good on him for trying to instant block all those all that nonsense. It was way closer than it ever should have been oh for sure no but bubble i mean he 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 was given a second lease on life and he almost brought it back
but unfortunately, it's just not enough. Luckily, he's in loser's bracket now. He's still got an entire you know tournament life to play out. Very much so. And going into this bracket, we've got, again, so many killers that putting one of them like these into loser's side here... Yeah, you just you You're just drop a bomb, mix. A, a cow shaped bomb into losers bracket. Cow shaped top eight. bomb, <laughs> and it's just it's not going to be good. It's, it spells disaster for everyone in loser side. The numbers don't lie. The numbers don't lie. <laughs> they spell disaster for everyone that's not bubble boots in losers bracket. And they're already fighting for their lives down there as it is with the lone and and Sasha? uh, Sasha's down there. Oh, oh my God! It's it's this is a crazy tournament. It's. Absolutely bonkers, and we're up here, Rainzor versus MPK. Now I'm I'm way more familiar with MPK than Rainzor. Yes, as well am I. I know the name for Rainzor for sure, mm. and seeing them come out and do this well, that's one of those things you got to take notes on. You got to oh, see. They have, they have the Virgil hoodie. I just realized I got the Virgil hoodie. Oh, that's hype. Oh, sorry. I got so distracted. I, <laughs> it's okay. You can't get biased like that oh, that easily. I, I, no, I will, and I am. So, good luck to Rainsor. I'm sorry, Keith. I love you, but <laughs> he's got the drip. I can't. I can't lie. Well, MPK is wearing a hat that says "Play TFH." He's not wearing the big hat from earlier. Oh, I don't know why. Where is the big hat? I want the big hat. Oh, Sasha took the big hat. Yo, Sasha. I know you can hear my voice. Bring the big hat. None yeah, of this keep surprises the big hat. me. Big hat. <laughs> Where's the big hat? Get, get the man the big hat. Okay. Luckily, they're not, they're not starting yet, so... Oh, my God! He's got the Virgil hoodie and the big hat. He's ready to screw up his immaculate hair to put the big hat on. Thank you so much. <laughs> Both players representing with the finest hats I've ever seen. MPK has a collection of like six TFH related hats. Yes. Every every time we come to an event, MPK has a different hat with him that was custom made, and this is the first time it has been an extra big hat. <laughs> and I still don't know how he got it made so at all. Yeah, he just messaged us in Discord and said that I brought the hat with no context. Okay, we're getting into it. So an immediate two B two B by the Texas. Dong, oh. dong, dong. Ding dong. Gonna restand. restand. Goes low. This is... Tian's already over half dead. This is a tough matchup because not only does Tian Ho have very little life and Texas does a lot of damage, but Texas also has a lot of uh, ability to control the airspace above him. Very high reaching normals. And it's it's hard for Tian Ho to navigate the, the way she does in most matchups, but you know, Tiano's Tiano. When she gets you locked down in the corner like this, she gets to run her game, and you know, this could be the start of Keat losing this game. It's already evened up on life. Texas Just being a big body touches. makes it much harder for the defense against the quick movements that the Tiano is always going to have access to, especially once they've got you in the corner. Oh, the Ooh. empty jump gets hit with the jump C from MPK. Cross up. Now, Texas has better damage mid-screen, usually, with his, his tippers than he has in the corner. So, this But in the corner, you're scared. But in the corner, you're scared. Terrified. That and looks like the first round, round to yes. MPK. You don't have to do all that. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he wanted to hit a bell before the round was over. What happened to all of MPK's meter? He's not, he's not building a lot of meter. He CC'd earlier to try and oh, get out of suppressor, okay. and it definitely seems to have been the correct choice. Gonna restand. Wait a No tipper there, not gonna get the magic back. Got a tipper that time, and he's already back in full magic again. Oh, doesn't quite get the stomp at the end of the, the route, it's fine. Oh, but Razor decided to back up and got hit with the, the max range 5D. MPK, block. MPK is making. Oh, drops the super. No, no full punish from Rain, though. Ooh, baits out the 6 to eight and gets through with the flip. Gonna go into a full combo, getting a knockdown in the corner. Sitting on almost three bars of, of meter. This is definitely not over yet. Gonna spend one of them to try and get a good hard knockdown situation. Backdash from MPK. Makes Ooh. the throw whip, but we're still here. Luckily, Rainzer didn't overcommit on that corner pressure. It's gonna casually fly here. 
Oh, Ooh. gets hit with the armor, run C, though. And that is exactly what you were talking about earlier with this matchup. Texas has so many things that he can just throw out and put into the airspace that Tian wants to be in on her approach. Yeah, and, like, it's so scary there because Tian wants to play neutral. She doesn't want to block there because if you block, Texas, you know, he can put her in a block string and get his way out. And the last thing you want is to let Texas out of the corner when you at a life deficit as Tian, though. Big round start 5C into the bells. Gonna get the restand here. What's the mix? Goes for the command grab. Still has not landed one of those. Ranger's been doing a good job making sure he doesn't get hit with the command grab. Uh, right. so that has led to a lot of uh, full combos off of restand for MPK. Um, let's see if MPK starts to notice the pattern and, you know, call it out. That's the thing. On his block strings, MPK has, in fact, been doing... Ooh, the 2D caught him with the tipper. The extra damage. The meter gain. And hits oh. up with the max range. Was that 6? 60? Yeah. Reaches right up to where the Tianhu wants to be once again. Takes it with a perfect. Okay. Ooh, gets hit with a big counter hit 5C. No tipper, though. Unfortunately, no full combo for MPK, but gets the, the stomp into the Earth Pole. Restand. There's oh, the 6A on Wake Up. Finally calling out Ranger trying to jump out of the pressure. Goes for a back dash this time, gets hit with the 5A. MPK already sniffing out the options to get out of the 50-50s. The Putting a lot of ropes out there just to catch stuff like that. Oh, late jump C. Okay, neutral. Tian gets in, doesn't get the full combo, manages to land and then fly and then get the jump C, which is a better starter anyway. Hard knockdown with the level one, what's the mix? Oh, Flip jump B, but Texas gets back dash again. He's getting mixed with the lows into flies. Uses the armored run C into the mid screen to just get his way out of there and is now putting Chan back into the corner. Ooh, trades. Oh, the gets caught with the 6A. Ooh. Absolutely solid gameplay. Play TFH. Play TFH. Good stuff to MPK. That was a fast 2-0. One of them was a perfect. Yeah. Texas Texas puts out so much damage in so many areas of the screen that, like we were saying earlier with the, the straight hits from Arizona, Texas is that but better it's, in it's, every conceivable it's way. It's so scary for, for Tiano to go against. Oh, the shot of that. It's so, it's so good. Shoutouts to production. Oh, <laughs> that was beautiful. That was wonderful. That is... So the thing I love about the TFH community, every time we have an offline event, people have props. Everyone shows up with props. We got hats. We got signs. La last year, out last here. year we had the palm dog from Digital in, in the crowd. I think that's still out in the crowd. Is somewhere. that still in the crowd somewhere? The palm it's dog? right over there, actually. Yeah. Hey, the palm dog. That's what I'm talking about. We got the palm dog. We got the palm fee. We're all out here. The big hat. The big hat. I love the big hat so much. How it's can you so not funny. love the big hat? I need to find out where he got that made. Do you need a large foam hat? Do you, uh, or do you just want a large foam I hat? I didn't know I needed one until today. I need to find a purpose for that it. That is the correct way to deal with that. Absolutely. I'm sure I will find something to put on a hat that large. I want you to look at our next match. Oh, it's Black Atlas versus... Oh, no. I, I, I'm Black friends Atlas with both of these people, and I'm not happy about versus this. Versus Linkster. Coming up next. Oh... <sighs> Now this is a great. This is crazy because it's gonna be another Tianho, uh, Black Atlas. Perhaps, I mean the. When you think of of Tianho, you think of Black Atlas. You He's been repping this character Atlas. forever, and Linkster could be playing either Paprika. Or he's got a, a, a really good strong hoof that he's been working on. Correct. And it just depends on, like, they, again, both these players know each other really well. They know each other's habits. And I'll be interested to see, like, how the character choices come out from Linkster to, you know, play against the way that, you know, Black Atlas wants to play this, this matchup. Because, and when I mean matchup, I don't mean the, the character matchup. The, I mean the player, the player matchup. matchup. Yes. These two have been playing online against each other for a very long time. And... Surprisingly enough, this is Linkster's first time being in an offline event. And he's here right here, top, top eight. eight. Yeah. Top eight. And he's been like, he's he looks. never stopped being as solid as he always was. It's interesting. So last year we had Arcanel in top eight. Correct. And Arcanel and Linkster are close friends. And last year was Arcanel's first offline event. Yes. And he was excitable. He was shaking. He was constantly jumping up and down. 
And Linkster's like the exact opposite. He is cool Completely as a cucumber. Completely stoic. Absolutely I've, nothing. And it's it's interesting to like know how these players usually handle pressure and then watch them in person and it doesn't show at all. You could be on the stage in front of as many people as possible just like this and there is no difference to them just sitting and playing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Speaking of, all of these people out here in the crowd watching. Hey, what's good, TFH fam? Make some noise! How y'all liking this top eight? That's what's up. That's what I thought. Oh, also, Aaron. I want to bring these over. You want to bring these over? For this top eight, and specifically top three, we have some custom hardware that we're going to be allowing top three, first through third, to pick their choice of at the end of the tournament. Mm -hmm. Thank you to uh, Junk Food Arcade. Thank you so much for Junk Food Arcade for hooking us up. Um, thank you to our, our artist, uh, Alt Aaron. He is amazing. Not this Aaron. We have a second Aaron. The alternate Aaron. <laughs> the alternative Aaron. He, he always kills it with the stick art. He did he a great job. And the Texas stick with the, 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 the gold, gold hardware. Buttons. Can we bring the gold back over real quick? I wanna... The gold buttons are so nice. I want to keep these because they're just <laughs> it's, it's, gorgeous. It came out so good looking. So good. I had several people over the weekend coming up to the booth and saying, I got to win that. Yeah, yeah. And I said, good luck. Good luck. Yeah, because this is a stacked tournament. The best part about this, mm -hmm. there are three people that said they want to win this in top eight. In top eight. Who, can, can, you, can you name, oh, I mean, was. Yeah. Was, okay, so Black Atlas was one of them. Black Atlas was very much one of them. Yeah. I mean, Black Atlas, you have like 25 sticks. You don't need another stick. <laughs> <laughs> he he loudly disagrees with my assessment. <laughs> Honestly, they probably heard. Yes. He's got the big he's hat. He's got his hat on now. Yes. I mean, he's got the Tianho level 3 dialogue on it. He's got to represent. Now just between you and me, even yes. though everybody can hear us, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he's going for that level 3. Oh, for sure. For sure, for sure. I mean, he was going for the level 3 in top 16. He wants to hit that movie. He, he hit... Uh, he, the match was over. The round was over, and he still did level three. He anyway. still spent the bar, just in case it connected. Which, by the way, if you're trying to sneakily do a level three in top eight, you don't want to show people what you're going for beforehand. Why is he showing? He's wearing a like? hat that has <sighs> okay. the text on it. I don't yeah. think anything is being done sneakily. Okay, no, no you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. It is my solemn duty to save Fona. Both players setting up their buttons. The player cam's upper third is entirely big hat. It's entirely big hat. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Desync your controllers is what my man said. Mm -hmm. Not those exact words. Was that a phone? I thought I saw a phone that was synced. That was like a rental car having every iPhone ever. Oh my god, yeah, the rental car? Yvonne's iPhone was, a t was a <laughs> on our Shout rental car? Shout out to Yvonne. Shout out to Yvonne. Do not underestimate the good that Wherever you are, uh, you're still synced go. to a, a Jeep in, Sch in Schaumburg, Illinois. Life is no fairy tale, oh. unicorn. Yep, this is definitely a button check. No Player one pausing. Uh, I've heard it all before, and I'll prove you wrong. Round one. Mm -hmm. Fight. Player one, pause. Player one, pause. Okay, it looks like our players are about ready to get into it. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, his menu buttons are wrong. Oh, I get it. 
Ooh, it now is we're that. now we're getting into it. Take your pick. We're gonna see a proper pick play. here. <laughs> and yep, right in. The two different sides of this. The two different sides of this. Black so Atlas with his signature Your black and gold. Linkster dizzy. with the always terrifying default palette. The powers. default palette, yep. Fight. Oh, immediate 5B. Get the mix with the broccoli. Oh. That was same side. That was same side. That's so much damage. Oh, this is still a button check. Oh, 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 oh. okay, okay. Why does Linkster got to do all that? <laughs> That's a combo check. That's not a button check. That's a combo check. Homie, you're in top eight. Your combos are fine. <laughs> You've been there. <laughs> you were like, oh, Sasha got opened up the same side. <laughs> I saw him walking forwards like he was going to break the, going to deal with the cross up. Mm -hmm. No, he mm -hmm. was just walking forwards. That Marvel 3 combo Three. check. Fight. Okay, now we're getting in it. Oh, yep. That's more patient. That makes more sense. Immediately gets the push block and opens him up with the, the air dash jump feet. Knowing Black Atlas, he's probably going to opt for a, a fly mix up here with the, the Volcanic Ash. Yep, goes this low. Catches the rollout with the 2A. Mid screen. All right, knockdown with the uh, the pre JD. Izuna drop, but Blinkster manages to poke his way through. Sets up the stagger into the pot. A lot of pressure. Doesn't quite hit the 6A. Ooh, the air to air with the jump B. No combo, but manages to keep the corner pressure, but Black Atlas pokes his way out. And the side switch off of the Volcanic Ash. Oh, another drop. Both players uncharacteristically dropping their combos. There we go. We're all with the way back over coast here coast. now. No coast, oh, doesn't no. quite get the 6A to get another. Oh, there's, no, the flop. there's the flop. Doesn't commit on the 6 CCC. Now, Paprika's belly flop is not invincible. It is just a lowered hurt box. It's incredibly low profile. Good meaty attempt. Will be able to catch it and counter hit it out of startup. But you have to know it's coming. You gotta be ready. Dashing all the way back from Linkster. Pot of plant, nobody find, uh, finds nobody home. Micro backdash into a 5B. One of the stronger things that Paprika has in her arsenal is being able to stop her backdash. Uh, the run. The run. It allows her to micro dash her. Uh, her normals and space them very, very deliberately. And because of the size and length of the normals, it's very good for her to be able to just set up these situations in neutral. Oh, goes for the aircraft oh. tech trade on the buttons. Oh, gets caught out of the, the, the flip with uh, the uh, the pot of plant. After my own heart trying that air grab setup into the basket. And that's game one. Wow, that was that was a lot of counter hit damage coming through for Links during that round. That's the strength of the Paprika button. A lot of lengthy buttons that you can just sit out there and wait for somebody to win. And that counter hit potted plane on the flip. That was just a grip of damage just from that one hit. Uh-oh. One moment, please. Is he switching controllers? Getting a, is he getting a different hat? Oh, he might be getting That's a different hat. That's what I need hat. to know. What is he doing? Oh, ah. he needs the music. He needs the music. Okay, no, I feel that. Musical interlude. No, sometimes when you're on stage, uh, you need to, you know, in order to get your, your head straight, you need you need to feel the rhythm and you need to you have your own uh, your your playlist. You need you need the, the the comfort tunes. You need those guilty pleasures coming in. You need those guilty pleasures coming in, and uh, he's definitely got to load up his playlist right now. Hopefully, if it's on Spotify, he's got signal in here. I guarantee you, he has. Every Tokusatsu playlist on there. Oh, yeah, he's got the Common Rider build on there. He he's, is. He's got the he's got the Common Rider Forze on there. He's ready for all of it. He's got Tokuso Sentai Deca Ranger on there, like for sure, for sure. Oh yeah, he's definitely yeah, got yeah. Deca Ranger. I hope you have been keeping up with your in. training. Hatless, but with music. <laughs> the the hat off is that's he's he's allowing his full power to, to shine through. Oh, and there it is, the the two pokes on the the short hop attempt from Linkster. We're seeing a more aggressive Black Atlas. He's definitely pressing more buttons, even at the start of this round. Linkster just trying to put out Gift and unfortunately gets flipped during a potted plan. Brought all the way to the corner. We're gonna see the classic fly mix up again. Yep. There it Volcanic, is. Volcanic Ash twice. Fly and hits once him low. Again, a 2A counter hit. Oh, doesn't quite get the uh, the TK. That's fine. Don't keep putting pressure. Jump C starter. Big damage. That's gonna be a perfect for Black Atlas. Don't do this. 
it's okay. okay. Yeah, don't even need to spin the bar. You were calling that real early. You're not yeah. a warrior Look, yet. I was, I was confident. To learn. He's got the music now. He's, he's got the music. He's, he's, he's in his zone. Fight. Blocks Ooh. the bouquet. That was a that was a start from Winston. hard call out. Gets the hard knockdown again. Good push block from Linkster. Trying to find his way out. Able to set up the pressure. Gets poked with another 5A from Black Atlas. Black Atlas has really adjusted his play style. In the first game, he was playing very patiently, trying to you know see what Linkster's going to do and feel him out a bit. But now he's 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 definitely being a, a lot more aggressive now. Going in, pressing the buttons, trying to uh, find gaps in Linkster's pressure. Good Once air throw again, break. the air throw. Both players are doing a fantastic job at keeping each other in the corner, and just as I say, that flips out. <laughs> Gets the overhead with the uh, the flip jump beat. Going right into level two. We're going to see Ash Loops. Yep. A. A. Oh, okay. Getting the wall bounce. A. Oh, we dropped. This is uh, no there longer a, a valid combo. combo in there. Hard in knockdown. Level super. Still has some level two left, so he's gonna use that to maintain Amazing immense blocks, pressure. And then gets the 2D into low. Oh, the Arcanel special. The Arcanel special. Still hitting people to this day. Oh yeah, he's feeling it now. I got hit. I definitely got hit. You're never ready for it. It's so it's so hard to see because the 2D on the ground. For, like, it pushes her arts up so high, and it looks like she's going for a high attempt, and then it immediately hits the ground, land cancels, goes low. It's so hard to react to. You just have to know. You have to be scoping out for that animation in specific and know what the setup is. Linkster backdash three times at the start of this round, trying to make some space, probably to set up gifts, and unfortunately was just taken to the corner immediately. He is able to fight the way out. Mid-screen. There we go. Once again, the lengthy buttons from Paprika able to just hold down that area of the neutral. Yeah, Black Atlas push blocked them out, but still didn't get Paprika out of her, her normal range. Again, the push block's not really doing a whole lot. And once more, Black Atlas is able to match the 5A, get out of the block string, and start taking Linkster to the other corner. Oh, Linkster backdashing himself, putting himself in the corner a bit, but it's fine. He's still got a little bit of health to work with. This is about gonna even it up. Our knockdown to Tiano gets the teleport C. That's big damage. That is the perfect and only time to do that. As soon as she's off screen, it's it's go time. Okay, set point for Linkster. Fight. Okay, back back dashing and opting to uh, do these back runs around start, but unfortunately it's putting himself in the corner, which is where you don't want to find yourself against Tiano. He very much wants to be able to have the space in neutral to just stick out his buttons and unfortunately black atlas is getting a read on that and is making sure to keep the pressure on so the linkster doesn't have the chance to and just as i said that i did like what black atlas did there where he did the hard knockdown into volcanic dash just to side switch and get himself out of the corner very good use of magic but he tries to Ooh. navigate his way but couldn't thread the needle paprika jump c too big stopping him the conversion off of the roll that was already out there Allowing Linkster to take the corner. Oh, Linkster gets the falling jumpy. This should be it for Linkster. Going right to level one. That's death. Oh, he's going to the basket. Level one would have been enough, but he gets the basket burst. Finishes him off. Linkster there goes on in top eight. What an absolute top eight this is. I think that's the most excitement I've seen from Linkster all day. Good stuff to Black Atlas, but unfortunately, just couldn't. Just couldn't clutch it out. Out of the tournament already. I told you, everyone in here can win this. This top eight is so volatile. Oh Hello my everybody. god. everybody. Friendly reminder, this is a masked event. At all times that you are within the event space, you must wear your mask. If you fail to comply, take your badge and ask you to leave. Please wear your mask. You love to hear it. Wear your mask. People. If that didn't come through on stream, um, there was just an announcement made to remind everybody to wear their mask for safety. This is a, a mask required event. And uh, you know, I've, I've for for to the event's credit, I've seen most people today keeping their masks on. So you know, absolutely. Yeah, everybody's been everybody I've seen has been following the rules. As keeping as safe. always, combo breaker is run with. The utmost professional. Th this this event has been run so smoothly. I've noticed 
almost no problems. I love it here. Yeah, no, this is my favorite event. This is every the best year. event to be at every single year. It and, does not and, matter what you play. And if you're if you're not here right now, if if you're watching this at home and you haven't come out to an event yet, Combo Breaker is the event to go to, a hundred percent. You got to be here once at least. Yeah, this is this is. I mean, I wish we could show you what we're looking at right now, where it's just a wall of screens. One, two, three, four, five on this side. Oh, five four, more on that four, side. Five on that side. It is so Rick once said that this is the, the music festival of fighting game events, and it definitely feels like it. You can That's pick a, a seat. That's a very Rick thing to say. You can you can you can pick a seat and just sit down and just watch whatever games. You don't even have to be like you don't have to know anything about the games you're watching. You could just sit and watch six games and just hang out with people. It's, and it doesn't matter where you're sitting, because you can see Oh no, there's all five per wall. No matter there, what. There's only two directions you can look and not see games. Ooh. Once again, just killers everywhere. This match looks Solarnia like it's going to be Solarnia versus Delone. Versus Another very common default palette usage here. Yes. Uh, it does make it confusing when Delone and Linkster have to fight each other. But Solarni are representing the Velvet. Uh, Velvet, not most common character you'll see. Um, not anymore, at least. Not anymore. Uh, she used to be a, represented a lot more in the, the high-level scene for this game. But uh, it's nice to see that, you know, I think we've got every character except Shanty represented in top eight. Don't make me think like that. I think you're right. <laughs> I love Velvet, though. We're about to see some fantastic Velvet player from one of the best in the country. Oh, we alone living up to his name and starting off with all the teleports. There it is, the Tele C into the air grab. And while those teleports are unsafe, it does make it very hard for Velvet to start up her zoning game. When, when you're playing with Velvet, uh, you want to make sure... So these these icicles do take a bit to come out, so you sort of want to set up like a forward operating base and hold your ground and find a place to start setting up all these projectiles. But if your inputs keep getting messed up as Paprika teleports around screen or reverses your inputs, you can never get these, these projectiles set up. And Delone is not afraid to lose the corner in order to go for a sneaky mix-up. Unfortunately, the correct answer was to DP, and... Caused the, the, the uh, tumble into the corner and was able to confirm off of it, getting some real good damage in. And, and now we're going to see some of this, uh, this the poke forward damage. Operating the base. forward operating base. Starting to, to do projectile damage to Delone. Keeping her distance. And this is going to start to add up. Already has the life lead now. Punishes the car. Oh, that was an oh, amazing punish. What a beautiful confirm off of the two counter hit, icicle hit. Velvet has a, a very shallow jump arc, and the fact that she managed to throw out those projectiles, jump, and get the confirm off of the counter hit, that was amazing presence of mind. That is why Solarnia is in top eight. Absolutely. 100%. The presence of mind of the players here. Oh, is he gonna, it's gonna slow two. him. Applying the slow debuff. Oh, blocking the super. That's gonna be big punish damage for Solarnia. Delone opting to take the damage rather than having to play neutral slow down. Oh, the bouquet blocked. Full punish here. This might be dead. Nope, just going for the hard knockdown. Getting the counter hit off of the 2D. And there's your first game. And this is yet another matchup where both players know each other really well. And Solarnia knows Delone's style. That he he wants to be aggressive on Wake Wants to be very aggressive. Wants to make you make your own mistakes. And he's per she's perfectly fine with letting Delone hang himself as all these failed projectiles come back down. 100%. Ooh, gets the max range slide 2B. Already getting the hard knock into oh, the corner. Gets the counter throw. That was a dangerous back dash and it worked out in Delone's favor. Delone hits with the counter hit, uh, 6CC. Second hit is jump cancelable. I think all three hits are jump cancelable. All three hits are jump cancelable. Only second and third hits are overhead. Correct. Ends in flop. Backstash a bit, but Solarnio just waiting to see what he does and then throwing out the DP. Finds her way back mid-screen. Delone Taking playing. Taking as much distance as possible. Delone took the quick way out to teleport C. Gets the flop knockdown. What's the mix? Short hop jump C. Solarnio trying to fight her way back out. Gets hit with the last hit of part A. 
protects the throw, the tries to dash out and gets counter hit. No, actually, that might have been like 5C. That might have been a forward advancing normal. Either way, counter hit out of uh, whatever she was trying to advance out of the corner with. Counter hit by the apple. Confirmed from Delone. It's gonna be the heart of a soft knockdown. Back to the corner though, sets up the roll. Oh, oh, it's so hard to try to keep up with the lone speed. DP's there out. There we go. Super, Correct gonna it. go right back to level two. Apply the frostbite again. Oh, but doesn't the block the slow C. teleport C. Ooh. It didn't kill. And now we've got Pavriga back into the corner here. Solarnia living on a prayer. Gets counter hit out of the 6C with the icicle. Solarnia playing really patient, doesn't oh, oh, but gets hit by the Teleport C. Delone is taking a lot of chances with these Teleport Cs, but they are working out in a lot of them. And if you compare Delone's playstyle with Linkster from before, Linkster was playing a very patient uh, game plan, poking out with Paprika's large buttons. Delone's opting more for just constant movement, making it hard to pin down exactly where he's gonna be. Gets the punish with the eruption into the 2B pickup. Zelania is starting to catch on to these TLC attempts by Zelone here. Able to backdash the last one. And maintain. Oh, doesn't quite time the push block properly. Zelone manages to negate it and gets the kiss. We're going to get a knockdown with Flop here in the corner. That's the mix. Oh, tries to, I think tries to go for a short hop, but accidentally super jumps backwards. Gets hit with the counter hit 2D. Big damage for Solarnia. Oh, nope, just going to opt for the, the, the screen real estate. Smart. That's a good trade for Velvet. Oh, but gets hit out of the Shatter A. It's gonna, it's gonna be another flop in the mix. Yep, TK flop. Oh, the short hop go low. This should be round for Delone if he wants to spend the meter. Oh, he doesn't nope. spend the meter, though. He just goes for flop. So long as still has a chance here. Oh, push blocks out the kiss attempt. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be enough. This might be enough. Gonna go with the super. The level okay. two. Frostbite, not quite enough, but this is gonna be hard for the loan to fight against. He's gonna get chipped out here. There yeah. It is. Velva builds meter a lot faster than most other characters, so Solarnia felt very safe choosing to use the level one into level two there, whereas Delone decided not to spend the meter, and unfortunately, may have lost the round because of that. But Delone's almost sitting here with three bars. Could potentially go into a Paprika level three if he wanted to. Very scary for Solarnia here against all these resources. Managed to get the counter throw. Okay. Going working his way in. Accidentally. Well, doesn't quite space the 5B well enough. Gets hit with the Velvet 5D. Such a fast projectile. Blocks the overhead. No punish from Solarnia. Blocks the cross up. Oh, blocks the cross under. No punish on the Paprika 3C, though. Absolutely beautiful defense from both players. Solarnia tried to push block Delone into the projectile, didn't quite get it. Delone gets the counter hit card A. He's got those three bars to work with. Are we gonna see it? Oh, there it is. There's the level three setup. Oh, this is so scary. Oh, DPs are DP. through it. Absolutely Delone brilliant. Delone doesn't get usage. anything out of that level three. Just barely manages to use that DP to push her out of the way. Make sure that she doesn't get caught by the command grab. Oh, I guess hit with the cross up. 5A. This is going to be it for Solarnia. 100% this is. All of Good the, stuff to Solarnia. That, that was so needed. scary. Incredible play. Incredible presence of mind to utilize the DP to get out of that situation with the Paprika level 3. Oh, that's so sad, though, for Delone. And tournament life over after popping level 3. And you see here, Solarnia opting to use Frostbite so much in this matchup. And I think that was one of the decisions that definitely led to her, her victory here. Absolutely. Within TFH, uh, a lot of players will opt to maintain as much meter as they can for the, la for the last round because meter is maintained between rounds. And mm -hmm. utilizing them for the utility of the level 2 supers is always going to be key. And saving on to all of the meter. Yeah, it's, it's always a question because the level two supers give utility, but the level one supers give consistent hard knockdown. So it, it depends on what the player really wants. And you see a lot of those different philosophies for meter resource management and play style come through with how they decide to use their, their supers. Even in this top eight and even in this top 16, we have seen tons of stuff. Yeah, for sure. So much stuff.
Okay, we're, we're going to go to an ad here in a second. Thank you for watching so much. Please stick by. We got more crazy TFH top, uh, top 8 action coming up right after this. You thought that was fire? We're not done yet. Because after this break, more Combo Breaker action is coming right to you. Don't go nowhere. Don't forget to head on over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. But don't delay because that merch is going to go quick. Welcome back to Top 8 TFH at Combo Breaker 2023. We are halfway through this bracket, more or less. This bracket is ridiculous. And we're about to watch what might be the saddest match of the whole tournament. This is absolutely the closest thing to a team kill that we can get. These two are the closest of homies. And they have to play each other right now. It's going to be Bubble Boots versus Linkster. Bubble Boots, champion of the game for a long time. Won Grand Stampede, the second one? The, I think won first, the first one. The first one. Yeah, the first Grand Stampede Bubble Boots one. Arizona representing. Got his custom palette in the game. Linkster, probably the number one Paprika player. Like, uh, not, not maybe not for, for placings, but definitely for character loyalty. Character Claire, loyalty, Claire. character tech. Just. Yes, just absolutely committed to the character. But has been dabbling with Strongfist recently. So, never know what's going to happen here. Now, these are the closest of friends and the closest of training partners. These matchups are going to be way more on the player than they are on the character. A hundred percent. And I've played both players. They're both amazing at the game. Getting right into it. Bubble with his personal talent. That's that that's such a feed. that's so that's both so them that start that 5b start from Linkster and the back dash stop from Bubble Boots. Oh, doesn't quite get the rope. Double stomp. Bubble Boots is gonna do everything he can to get that that magic stocked up. Land the lasso, get a stop. Trying to stay out of the 5b range because that is where Linkster wants to be at all times. Finally managed to play footsies, get the stomp, get the lasso. Soft knockdown, but managed to get all three stocks of magic like you wanted. Arizona is now a much scarier character. Oh, gets the counter hit apple, dashes all the way up, gets the confirm off of it. Doesn't quite get the full combo. It's okay. Oh, but the the head buck A manages to get the full confirm off of it. Get another three magic. Hard knockdown in the corner. Oh, Oh, gets hit with the potted plant. That's a lot of damage, but also a lot of JD build. Linkster won't be able to get a, a full uh, optimal knockdown off of that, unfortunately. Oh, but manages to get the space in the 5B. No, Bubble Boots gets the stomp. Both these players are playing at their max ranges for their characters. Oh, short hops over it. The minutia going into this matchup is it's, incredible. This is ridiculous. You're down to 20 seconds left. I don't think any round has gone this long. Yeah, we're actually in danger of time. Oh, never mind. Counting. Oh, gets oh. hit with the 6B. Last 10 seconds of the game. First round. My mama don't raise no Both players giving a clinic on how to play their respective characters right now. Do we think that this is going to speed up from here on out? And that was just them feeling each other out of it. No. <laughs> this is going to be the, 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 the slow road to China. This is going to be, it's, it's going to take forever. Neither player wants to give each other an inch. They, they know what happens when any one of the, their, each other gets the advantage state. Did you see Bubble backdash into E? Yes. That was so clever. Okay. Micro, micro backdash into 2B. Trying to shimmy Linkster. Linkster not falling for it. Puts out the cinnamon roll. Using it to, to work his way in. Bubble Boost switches sides to not be a factor anymore. Accidentally crosses under with the 6A. Linkster's gonna get the knockdown here, but gets hit with the counter on the reset. Immediately spends the two bars. Wanna this is gonna be big. Oh, himself. but drops the confirm off of it. That was gonna be big damage. Unfortunately, left on the table from Bubble Boost dropping the combo. Big stomp. Linkster just short hopping in the corner. Once Ooh. again, that 5B range coming into effect. Gonna get the stagger. Doesn't quite get a full count. Oh, no. Hard knockdown from Bubble Boots. Doesn't quite cross up. Linkster knows the range. Oh, it gets, it gets like a sour hit on the jump C. Doesn't get the, 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 the final hit. Not enough hit stun to get the confirm off of it. 
No punish on the card A from, from Bubble Boots. The blocks. The blocks on the cross under. Ooh, unpunished teleport. Another unpunished card A. Eight Weird. seconds Down left. Ten seconds. It's gonna be a hard knockdown from Linkster here. Oh, go, no goes for the staggering run away. Gets hit with the 6B Who won? Linkster took it. Oh, it goes to Linkster on the timeout. Oh my god. I'm aging as we watch this. <laughs> my heart. Jumps over the cinnamon roll. Gets the max range stomp. Gonna get all three stocks of magic here. 4D, 2D. Locked and loaded. The Counter short hop jump C, go low. Gets the wall stick. Pulls him out of the corner. Oh, the counter. He saw that 5B coming from a mile away and just said no. Unfortunately, he gets the he, he drops the combo, which means that he loses two magic. Linkster again gets the apple into the 5B. That's the third time Linkster has done that in this set. Gets the hard knockdown. Gonna, oh, doesn't even use the basket, just puts it out as a threat. Oh, gets the teleport C, punishes the stomp. Pot, pot of plant coming up. Gets hit with the headbutt D, head D, though. Level two. Gets the confirm this time off the level two. Oh, no, this is a blue beat. Not quite enough to kill here. Teleports out. Throw tech from from Arizona, from Bubble Boots. Oh, the counter poke from Bubble. After all that, it comes down to fundamentals. That was the first game. Take your pick. That was the first game. I need a nap. Are you okay? You're like you're you're you got the thousand yard stare. Are you okay? I'm I'm trying to follow there. <laughs> this is so and much. I can tell the minutia coming coming into it from the player matchup, and I'm just trying to keep up with it because all of the decisions being made are perfect against each other, but they're making perfect decisions against each other at the same time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's why no one's getting Another a backdash into the E. He's doing it again. <laughs> he's, he's doing it again. Ma, he's backdashing and eating the broccoli. <laughs> Ma, there's a weird cow. Ma, there's a weird cow outside. Oh, gets the cross up right as the Cinderella comes in. That was ambiguous. I thought that was cross up, but it wasn't. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, the short hop low coming out for Linkster. You can only defend for so long. Both these characters have short hops, and both players have been mixing up. Oh, but eats the broccoli. I wonder what he was going for there. Maybe the falling A? Maybe the falling getting A just depressed it a little bit too late. Gets the counter poke 5C. Big damage. Doesn't quite get the full confirm off of the, the magic dash, but it's fine. Gets the throw. Goes for an empty jump. Manages to block it in the air. Pokes out. This should be it for Bubble Boots. Gets the micro dash. Not gonna spend the meter though. Greedy, greedy. Oh, but oh, manages to bait out the punish against the cart. See, throw, throw tech from Bubble Boots. Back to patient neutral. Links has less screen real estate to work with. Does the Tele C finally gives it up? Gets hit with the 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 the, oh, the, the five A punish. Bubble has ended multiple rounds with just a singular counter hit A button. Just, a, just the, the lightest, fastest button he has. But like the, the, the life values are coming down to this, where literally any hit will take it. That's what I was getting at with the perfect decisions against each other, is very specifically, it's not allowing them to go for too many excessively long combos. They're mm -hmm. just trading hit, and it comes down to these sliver of a health value. Linkster applying pressure to Bubble Boots. Bubble Boots on top of the apple, locking out all of his A buttons. Can't jab out of this. Gets thrown. Is it gonna be flop? Yep, flop. Apple still out. Linkster back dash to try to catch the tech, but unfortunately hops back in. Loses the corner pressure. Has the life lead here though. But Bubble Boots is sitting on three whole bars. Oh, the random headbuck A. Almost gets a full confirm off of it. Oh, the, the counter 5A anti-air poke from Linkster. Full combo, coast to coast. Ooh, the, the, em the short hop, empty jump, uh, calling out the counter attempt from Bubble Boots.
baiting out the magic usage. I think that was the fastest round we've had. That, that is the fastest round. Still 25, round. Seconds, still 25 seconds on the clock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ooh, the counter hit 5B. I was just going to say, Bust Bubble out. has three bars locked and loaded. But this Apple could affect his routing for this follow-up combo. Nope, it's fine. Oh, gets the short hop, jump C. Cinnamon rolls in play. Linkster using it to work his way in. Forcing Bubble Boost into the corner. Hits him with a low. We're going to see Flop. Flop in what's the mix? Short hop. Being patient. Perfectly fine with losing the corner there. So keeps his turn, but Bubble Boots busts out with the counter, going into level two. This could be death for, for Linkster. If Bubble Boots gets the right combo, he has to optimize here in order to get this kill, in order to take the game. He's not gonna have another meter to work with. Oh, drops the D head buck. But Bubble Boots gets the cross up jump C. That's a big starter. He has a lot of meter to work with. Oh, doesn't quite finish the combo. Hits him low though. It should be. Going right to level one. Yep. Level two, level one again. We're gonna see it. Simple combo, yep. And Linkster takes it. Barely holds on by a thread. Sets the, uh, makes the set 1-1. One, one. We got another game coming. You look like you need a nap. Yes. Yes. I don't know what you're up to, this is absolutely incredible. <laughs> This is losers. This is this is a loser. This is a losers quarters match. At this level. Blocks the Telly C. Get your money up, not your funny up. Gets the gets the restand into the, the, the fake cross up. Oh back dashes through the Arizona 6B. That's a big fat punish here. Baits out the counter, gets the throw. Not gonna quite put him in the corner yet. Uses the second hit of the pot in order to get the cross up. Bubble Boots blocks it. Both of them go for a throw. Both teched. Cart A in. Back dashes the B range. Back dashes the D head buck and punishes with 5B. You don't have to worry about blocking it if you're not there. Linkster slowing it down a bit. Realizing he lost his corner pressure and his block pressure. Oh, but gets counter hit by the 2B. Ball stick. Not enough to kill unless he uses the meter here. Oh, doesn't even need it. Didn't even need the TK headbutt at the end. Once again, set point for Bubble Boots. Round two. Fight. 5B start from Wingster. Nice. Jumps over the stomp. Doesn't quite hit the, with the, the 5C. Bubble Boots manages to back dash away from it. Falling buttons from Bubble Boots. Wingster finally hits him with the 2B. To the corner. The air grab. Yeah, we're gonna see flop here. Oh no! Nope. Goes for the stagger to apple. Tries to throw him before the apple comes down on him. Oh! Does another oh, cart C. Unsafe frame usually. Trap. Frame traps with the super cancel. Pot of plant going up. Oh, but doesn't come down fast enough. Bubble boots calls him out. Gets the throw. Gets the big hit here on Linkster's wake up. Bubble Boots working with a lot of meter here. Once Another backdash is the 6B! Bubble Boots no, I mean, Linkster knows. He's scooping out all these 6Bs. He's gonna take the round here. Set point for both players. The matches are going faster, but there's still even more happening in there. Links to sitting on one bar. Bubble Boots sitting on three. Very scary with Arizona. Both her level two and her level three are amazing supers. Falling button from Linkster. Gets the counter hit with the jump A. Puts out the broccoli. Gets him in the corner. Hits with the jump C. Amazing starter here. Gonna do a lot of damage. Gonna get a knockdown in the corner. Kiss back dashes to catch the tech. Teleports into the corner with the cinnamon roll, making it a cross up low. Links are doing a bunch of damage. Perfectly fine with losing the corner here in order to get this damage. Gonna get the hard knockdown with the level one or go into basket. Here we go. Basket burst. The RNG doesn't work out in his favor. He's gonna eat here. 
Gonna eat all these gifts he put out. Oh, they meet in the sky, and Bubble Boots wins the engagement with the jump B. Is he gonna do anything with this meter, or is he just gonna build magic stock? Doesn't even get all three stocks of magic. Linkster just patiently Changing sitting outside of stomp range. Ooh, gets caught with the back dash from the stomp. Unfortunately, JD Max, Bubble Boots can't get much more than that. Another 5B from Linkster. Linkster takes it! Oh my god. At Linkster's first tournament, he eliminates maybe one of the favorites to win it in Bubble Boots. Team Kill. Effective Team Kill Bear. Oh, that's gotta hurt for both of them. You know neither want to see the other leave this tournament yet. I don't want to see either. I don't want to see either leave this yet. tournament yet. That but was. We gotta work our way up this top eight. That was maybe one of the best sets of TFH I've ever seen in my life. That was ridiculous. All of the back dashes from Linkster against the the Arizona Six Bs. Oh my God! Linkster's they... ability to perfectly space thrown gifts. To confirm them with that dash up 5B. Yeah. That three times in a row. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh my god. I, I don't know what else to say. They, they both just read each other perfectly. And they kept all these little micro adjustments throughout the whole set. It was incredible play. Absolutely. A hundred percent. That is what we are here for. That was perfect TFH play. Okay, it looks like our next match is going to be Razor versus Delone. I believe they're just getting that for uh, a match. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because as we did see earlier, Salernia. Mm -hmm. That's Solarni up there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is Solarni up there, correct. Here. So it looks like it's going to be Razor versus Solarni. Uh, this is going to be, what, Tianhuo into... Into Velvet. Yeah, this is going to be a great match. I, I love this matchup. You know, I, I play both these characters. I love both these characters. Um, it's, it's difficult for Velvet, but, um, the main thing is that Velvet does crazy damage. Crazy damage, crazy meter gain. Yes. And the ability to utilize all of that meter for even more crazy damage, mm -hmm. and then build it all back and do it again the next round. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Salernia has shown, if there's a level two on the table, I'm using that. And that's something Tianho does not want to deal with. Tianho's, the best thing Tianho has in this matchup is being able to use her mobility and her speed to thread the needle between all those projectiles. And if Velvet takes that away from her, it's going to be a bad time. 100%. Okay, is this button check or are we getting right into it? Okay. We've got button check. All right. At last, we shall see who is stronger, ice or fire. But I still love that. I need to ask him where he bought that hoodie. I need that hoodie. One. Fight. He is the storm that is approaching. I'm, I'm aware. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's even got the hair slick back. He's motivated. You gotta be when you're this far into top. Oh no, right you don't. You do not get it this far into a tournament this stacked without motivation. What's the round start? Fight. It's gonna be, it's gonna be back dash. Yep, back dash <laughs> from Velvet. Yep. This far into bracket, like no one's gonna just like run up five C, you know, slide up two B. No, it's just back dash. Feel each other out, especially because I feel like uh, Ranger, uh, you know, Solarnia may not know them as well as they they know other players in this top eight. So you know, better just take it safe. Play to the character strengths. Gets the throw, nice. Put her back in the corner. Give herself all that real estate to work with. Finally, Ranger First gets a hit there. Ooh, doesn't quite get a. That's not. That's a difficult height to confirm from. To be fair, doesn't quite get into the full. Oh, puts himself the in the a. corner. 
Unfortunate. It does seem that Solarni is going to be able to close this out right here. Yep. First round going the way of the Velvet. This feels so much faster just because of the pace of the last game. Round two. Fight. Ooh, the backdash 5C. Okay, just opting for a screen position. Here. Ooh, very nice wind usage. Tianhua being in the air all the time means that the wind is going to have even more effect than usual. Ooh, gets the, the icicle confirmed. Doesn't go into a whole lot of damage, just still opting for hard knockdown and screen position. Solarnia running out of screen real estate to back up into, though. Stands her ground, gets the 6A as Tianhua tries to uh, approach from the sky. Gets Absolutely a perfect. Beautiful play. Putting projectiles into every spot that the Tian wants to be at. Mm -hmm. An absolute clinic. I will defeat you so Rainsor is no slouch, however. Yeah, no, and they're I, very much thinking about the ways to get through all of these projectiles. Yeah, I trust Rainsor to be thinking right now about exactly what they have to do in order to get in past that. And already you're seeing it. The air dash into the fly to stagger the falling time is incredible. Gets the slide up 2B. Once again, playing for screen real estate. Gets the, the dash under on the icicle. Pretty much the only mix that Velvet has is, is dashing under while, while projectiles are coming down from this guy. Icicle's coming out. Gets the falling jump A. Air to air's Ranger. It's going to be big damage. Icicle loops. Oh, drops it. But it's okay. Gets an American reset. And tears with the 5A. That is two perfects in a row. Jeez. That was Perfect. Ranger has one more round to make this adjustment. They are fully capable of it. Oh, but the air to air jump A counter hit. Oh, that's that's such a difficult range for Velvet to confirm from. Oh, it doesn't quite get the throw. Both players trade. Both backing up. Arguably a better situation for Velvet to be in. Gets another 6A. Ranger just cannot manage to get in. There's the level this two. amazing defensive play from Solarnia. This is a very bad place for any Tianhua to be in. The inability to move in. Oh, just almost. Oh, oh the cross up jump A. Solarnia takes it. Where to from here? These matches just keep coming. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Good stuff to Ranger, though, making it this far in a bracket this hard. Absolutely. Good stuff to any of our players who has, have made it to the top 16 and then top 8. But really showing what they got. Solarnia is s ridiculous. Like, Solarnia's always been an amazing player, but she has been just leveling up so fast recently. Absolutely. And even last year... I believe Salernia did not make it out of pools. Mm -hmm. And with just as difficult if not more bracket, so. if not more so, this year, right up there, top, top eight. Top eight, yeah. Just working her way through easily. Like, I have not seen her sweat yet in any of her matches today. It's just been sitting down, going to work, making her way through the bracket. Just, just day by day. Yep. Treating it like the nine to five. You just got to be there. So we're waiting here for our next match. At this point, every single match is going to be ridiculous. We're going to have Asiago versus MPK. Oh, my God. These are two of the best players. I mean, I, we've been saying that a lot, or at least I've been we saying that a lot. We have had to say this a lot. But both of these players, at, in, in any event, Online, offline, they are among the best. It, it doesn't matter who shows up. It's very easy to see both these players in winner's finals. Very much favorites to win no matter what the event, no matter what the situation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and then after that, we got Solarnia versus Linkster, which is going to be ridiculous because Linkster's Paprika play has been so patient, playing around basically pseudo-zoning from Bubble Boots' Arizona with all those stomps and those max range lassos. So I think this... That match will be the first time we really see Solarnia pressured by someone just patiently playing the neutral, using their pokes, managing their way in. And it's not like Paprika has a lack of movement options to get in against Velvet Zoning. But we're going to have to come back to this match. Asiago, Asiago versus MPK coming up after this ad break. Whoa, 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 whoa. You still here, man? You don't have to do this by yourself anymore. Yeah, we've been looking for you everywhere. They don't handle the ads. Let's go see the rest of Chicago.
Y'all make sure to head over to the Combo Breaker shop right now and check out all the amazing merch from shirts to hats and more in store. Get it today. Welcome back to Top 8 TFH at Combo Breaker 2023. We're about to get into Winner's Finals. Here we are. We're all the way up to what is now effectively the Top 4. Yeah. And these matches have been ridiculous. If you haven't been watching Top 8 so far, I'm so sorry. You missed Go back and watch it. Go back and, Go watch, back and watch it later. Watch it. Tampa never sleeps. Watch it because... That match between Linkster and Bubble Boots was ridiculous. This has very easily been some of the best TFH we've ever seen. I, know, it's, I can't believe that after all these years, the level of play keeps going up. I think that's typical of the FGC, and it's just good to see it in every game possible. Yeah, the, the, the competition has never been stiffer. Especially because MPK is not wearing the floppy hat right now. Take your pick. Who decided to make a hat out of foam? Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming it's a cost-saving measure. I'm assuming it's sports-related. Oh, it's possible. Like a foam finger, but for your but, head. But for your head, yeah. Um, we're going to have to interrogate him later about how he acquired. <laughs> we're getting right into it here. Asiago versus MPK. Paprika versus Texas. Big damage, big buttons. I love it. Are we going to see the flop here? Nope. Apple. Meaty. Meaty apple. A phrase that stands the test of time. G gets the hard, uh, gets the soft knockdown with the kiss. Keeps the combo going. MPK is in the blender right now. Texas is a great character, but the, the negatives of Texas is you're a big body, and you have to eat all this nonsense from Paprika. But you also get the buttons that you can just poke out with at any given time from almost anywhere. Oh, blocks the 2D. Still in 5B range for Asiago. Good presence of mind. It is a bit more difficult to space your buttons uh, against Texas because the camera has to zoom out. You know, the, the screen space is a little bit different feeling. So good presence of mind for Asiago to know that he was still in 5B range to get that punish. There we go. Texas is getting started up. Triple bells. It's Reset. ball the clock. More bullseyes. Restand. Damage is stacking up. Uses the 6A in the block string in order to make sure that he can't jump out. Oh, whips the 5C. No punish from Asiago. Gets the counter hit 5B. At 5B range. Gonna carry him. Coming out. Carry him all the way to the corner. Mini Apple. Cross counter for MPK. Just wants to get out. Texas is stronger in this matchup in the mid screen for sure. Oh, hits with the jump D. Doesn't quite have the spacing and hit with the 5D, though. Oh, guess with the stagger, two BBs. This could be death. Going right to level one. Oh, it's not death! Pixel of life for Asiago. Cross cannons, MPK. Oh, but the poke out from Again, MPK, the pressing 5A the 5A. Usage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good presence of mind because Texas does have a slower 5A than the rest of the cast. Knowing what? that there was still a gap there that he could use it in was very smart. Getting the long range 2Bs. Get the knockdown. There we go. Going right into Lariat. Right to level 1. No level 2 to set up the walls, but still going to take all of that damage and cash right out. MPK just wiggling back and forth menacingly. Looking for the spacing in order to hit Asiago at max range. Gets the hit with the 2Bs. We're gonna start seeing. We're gonna. We're gonna start hearing bells. Gets the restand. Once again, utilizing that 6A, making sure that there can't be any jumps out. Jump out. Asiago jumps over the jump. The the 2B pressure. MPK gets the falling buttons. Level one death. That first game going to MPK. Yeah. No, that was definitely a game where both players are feeling each other out again. 100% for the. For all of this, it's very difficult for Asiago to make their way in because Texas has such a strong presence on further parts of the screen and then close parts of the screen. And that thin middle spot is where you want to be pressing 5B with Paprika. To Paprika's credit, though, Paprika has the perfect buttons to play in that range. Absolutely. But 
with we Pete just wiggling it. back and forth slowly with Texas, it makes it hard for them to find the space they need to in order to play their optimal game. And there we go. The command grab. Finally coming out. Hits with the very tail end of run C, making it safe. Asiago gets the hit. We're not going to get all the way to the corner off this. Actually, no, we might. Yeah, we definitely get all the way to the corner. As Fabrica. Midi Apple. Gets the 5B poke. There's still too much JD. Couldn't get the combo. Gets the punish and the roll. Overhead. That was a fuzzy. The rising jump. Hey. Because th he was in stand block. That was, that, he got fuzzy. He got fuzzied with Broccoli. Oh, no. Oh, he tries to push block him out, but Asiago is still in 5C range. That advancing large button. Round two. Very similar meter count for everybody here. But Asiago taking an early advantage here, bringing Texas all the way to the corner. Another apple. Hits him this time with it. Gets the, com the combo. Gets the kiss. The soft knockdown into OTG special has been working out very well. And PK coming out with the run Lariat. Once again, uh, can't go into level two here. Gonna block the super and get a punish. Oh, that, that was so weird. The advancing 5C forced him to the other side. Accidentally crossed him up. Might have messed up his combo. Might have been intentional to take the corner, though. Oh, that's right. That, that would have been really smart if that's the case. Credit where credit is due. We are in top four. These are incredible players. Absolutely. That's true. You can't give any of these players an inch. They'll take a mile. And the Asiago takes it, tying it up 1-1 in the winner's final. Sigh of relief there from Asiago. Yeah, at this point, it's not I'm trying to win. It's not, I'm, I'm trying to survive. That's this entire top eight. It's true, but it's it's the, the pressure's on. Slow poke game from both players. The counter hit 5C, but nothing after it from the Texas is a bit unfortunate. But look at the damage that has already been done. And again. Two normals, and that's how much damage he's done. Just life bar getting cut off in chunks. Oh, guess the 2B poke. Uh, stagger pressure. Managed to get hit off of it. Dong, dong, dong. One more. Restand. Oh, the bells. F your life, bing bong. Oh, the cart seat doesn't quite reach. I love that route with the, the, the jump cancel stomp into the jump deep. Beautiful optimizations. And there's that last hit. But with a perfect. The bell tolls. And it tolls for you. It tolls for thee. Good was, job breaking the armor there. I wish this was still alone so we could say it holds for Lee. Oh, no. Apple set up again. How is it always an apple and never a broccoli once? Paprika players feel their RNG. Gets the wall stick off of the, uh, the Lariat. Oh, doesn't quite get the combo. Paprika wakes up. Oh, trade! Cross canners uh, Asiago back into the corner. MPK is liberally using his meter to try and keep the Paprika off of him. Ooh, I, I think he just got caught landing. Flops off knockdown, text back. He's able to start pressuring Runs Asiago out. back. Ooh, the whiff run C. Yeah, that's so scary for Texas. That leaves him so negative. Both players on match point. Oh, no, not match point. On, 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 on game point is what I meant. Sorry. Restand. Restand. Knocks him down. That's so ambiguous. The, the body splash. Up body splash. Oh, stagger pressure from MPK. Patient play from both players. Immediately backs his way out of that 5C range. And Asiago oh. comes back in for it. MPK tries to jump in with the gimmicky late jump C. I bet he was going to go into command grab off of it. But Asiago sniffs it out, jabs him out of the air, gets this combo, brings him into the corner. I'm going to see another. This time it's the broccoli. Cross cannon from uh, MPK, cross cannon from Asiago back. 
Neither wants to live in this corner. Okay. Careful. Safe. Neutral. Max range bells. We're at bell range. Oh, Asiago just to be outside. In that 2C range. Out, just outside of Texas 5C range. Another whiff, another whiff run C. Asiago gets the stagger pressure against MPK. Gonna put him in the corner. Are we gonna see another Button cross cannon from MPK? Meaty Broccoli. Oh, push blocks him out. Gets the 2B. This is gonna be big damage. You can go right into level one if you wanted to. I know he's doing the full combo. There's the level one. It should be enough. Yep. MPK going up 2-1 in this best of five set. You have to wonder if Texas was this strong now, what were the old times like? <laughs> oh, he was he was buff. You saying he's not buff now? No, he's now just big. Okay, you're right. He's living MPK, the main life. MPK getting st <laughs> getting started early. <laughs> Filling up that magic, restand. Oh, I think he went for command grab, and I think Asiago poked him out of it. I saw the wiggle, it looked like a command grab attempt. Pokes him out with the two Bs again. Gonna side switch. Not enough JD management in order to get the Lariat wall stick combos, it's fine. MPK wiggling. Neutral. Asiago still hitting from max range. Gonna Once again, that 5B range is exactly where Asiago wants to be at all times, and he's making it work perfectly. Doesn't quite push block him out enough. No combo from... Oh! The anti-air 2Bs! Good routing from MPK. Gonna put him in the corner? No, just gonna restand him. Fighting from his co from his corner. Getting cross countered back into the corner. Gonna cross counter back, but Asiago blocks it! Jumps out of the command grab attempt for MPK. Dude, lots of falling buttons. Cross cannons back out. Back dashes to get the punish attempt on the, the run C. Pokes out with the 5A. This should be round for MPK. He's gonna do his best to not spend the meter. No, he's just gonna spend it. Smart. We're at a point where if you have that meter to cash out and you just need to take, take the round, round, just take the round. Take the round. Absolutely. MPK on set point. Pokes him out immediately with a 2A. We're gonna see a uh, restand combo here. No, oh no! Stop him for soft knockdown. Big damage. Here's the restand. MPK back to Wiggling. Trying to get out of that 5B and 2C range. Ooh, hits with the staggered Earth Pole. Tries to push block him out, but Asiago managing to use the card A to stay on him. Oh, once again, like we saw with the Linkster match, does the unsafe card C and cancels right into the super, the, the, the bait out, the punish. Gonna basket burst. Falling jump C from MPK. A lot of apples on the field here. He's gonna have two bars here when he gets the, the chance to cancel the super. Oh, gonna restand him here. Yup, level one. This might be enough. Nope. Let me talk to you. More bells, restand. Not enough. Asiago living with a pixel. The teleport, the teleport C, C crosses under because of the weird Texas hitbox size. Manages to get the mix up, fighting from inside the cage, but gets poked out after the unsafe cart C. MPK holding on, life flash before his eyes, but managed to keep the life lead. Takes the game, sending Asiago down to loser's bracket. Oh, he put up those walls, and Asiago said, bet. Bet, yeah, no. And I'm he just threw it at him i'm not i'm not trapped in here with you you're trapped in here with me it's interesting because the the way the wall sets up the camera it almost perfectly spaces paprika for the button she wants to use. yeah yeah no it's actually not that bad for paprika very much so and it was concerning for mpk to go for it in my mind because of that but i believe he thought he was going to be able to get the kill off of that yeah he definitely wanted to restand and he thought those last few normals would be enough and he was not considering the fact that like if he knew that wouldn't have killed he would have probably just been okay with the restand and gone for mix but because of that it gave 
Asiago with the soft knockdown. Let him roll out of the corner. Put, let him put MPK in a really scary situation. But MPK manages to block his way out, poke his way out, take the set. Now he's sitting in winners in a grand finals winner side, just waiting for his opponent. And coming up next is going to be Salarnia versus, versus Linkster. Linkster. Incredible. Take These matches are just they're all the patient play is happening right now. They're everything you want to see about this game. Yes. Oh, that pop off from MPK. He is so happy to be sitting safely in winter side. He's got room to work with. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Meanwhile, the rest of the bracket, they got to fight. They got to fight all their way up to losers That's finals. Awesome. We got Salarnia. We got Linkster. We got Asiago. Paprika. <laughs> Just nothing but killers. As it should be up here. So we got a, we got a Texas, we got a Velvet, and we have two Paprikas in top four. I don't think anyone predicted that. No, no, that is a very strange but appreciated spread. It really shows. It really shows players actually working with their characters and doing everything they can. A hundred percent. It's incredible to see everybody up here. Okay, both players getting the thumbs up. We are ready to get in there. Switch character. Take your pick. Strong hook from Linkster in this matchup. Let's go back on one of those paprikas for a second. Yeah, Put a yep. slash line there and throw in the strong hook. The strong hook's right there, yep. Finally seeing the strong hook from Linkster. I do like this choice though because strong hook has very large buttons. Has the same sliding mechanic that Velvet has can manage to close the gap pretty easily and play from a range that makes Velvet very uncomfortable. But then again, Solarnia backdash into the Shatter A immediately and starts setting up shop. Stronghoof does have a lot of options for getting in. He can he can use the wind to pull uh, Velvet in. He can use Vetter to take some hits. He can use the uh, Arsenal C to, to shield through some of this. But unfortunately, Solarnia's pressure is just too strong. And Linkster has to sit there with Stronghoof's wide body taking all these eruptions. Finally manages to work his way in. Oh, but the corner combo crosses under with the, the, the 2C. Better got hit. No follow-ups for a little bit. Slide in nothing. I wonder what was the choice there. I, I still like this character choice, but Solarnia is, is still putting on a clinic. Fully aware of the matchup. Not letting Linkster get in. Finally getting a hit with the follow-up from the, uh, the hammer. Gonna use the wind in order to get the, the combo here. Doesn't quite hit the axe. Put himself in the corner, giving Solarnia all this real estate to work with. Can backdash all the way from corner to corner if she needs to in order to get the zoning going. This is rough for Stronghoof right here. Luckily, he does have quite a bit of health, so he has the opportunity to take some hits. Trying to get in. Manages to get in. Gets the wall bounce here. Gonna use wind again. Go for the axe again. Oh, cancels on the super after the combo drop. That's unfortunate. Gets the punish from Solarnia. But unfortunately, like we saw with the Texas match, uh, accidentally costs under, drops the combo. Good win usage from Linkster. Oh, just hard base out of the DP. Absolutely knew the DP was going to be there. Neutral jumps perfectly to get out of that. Absolutely. One round apiece. Velvet's sitting on a lot of meter. Blinks are just putting out all of the weapons, making sure they stay up his traps on screen. He's being so patient here. Tries to use Vetter to get in, manages to punish Solarnia for pressing buttons against Vetter. The patience paying off. Crosses up with the jump C. Trying to put out his frost hammer. Finally got it out. Manages to work his way in, gets command the command grab. grab. Puts out the ice. He's gonna break it in order to get the shards. Nice. This is gonna be a lot of damage. Is it gonna end in level one? Nope, it's gonna knock down. 
just the barely gets the very, the, axe. the very tip of the axe. Spends the meter, takes that first game. First, I, I, is this the first time we've seen in top eight that Solarni has lost a game? I think so. I don't have those numbers on me, but okay. I think you might be right. And it went to Linkster Stronghoof, the character he's still adapting to. Stronghoof, the most recent addition to the cast, hasn't been out for too long, but Linkster took a shine to him immediately and started going in on stuff like this. That the command grab setups. Gets the hard knockdown in the corner. Oh, very great from smart, Solania. bro. Good presence of mind to know there was a gap there big enough to get the throw in. Patient play from Linkster. Nice use of the 2C to go under the icicle. Solani is quickly running out of screen real estate. Linkster just push blocking her into the corner. Hoping he'll have enough life in order to, to pressure her, but unfortunately can't quite bridge the gap to get there and start pressuring or manage to get her into the, into the corner, but no life to work with. That's been the struggle in any match that players have had against Solarnia. Oh, a big jump C hit. This is a great starter for Stronghold. Drops the combo, it's fine. Or maybe it was an intentional reset point. Side switch combo from Solarnia using the launcher and the, the, the snowballs. Gonna knock down. Taking and all the screen real estate back and setting up the minefield. And now this is rough for Strong Hoof. Trying to use Vetter's wind to try to pull her closer. Managed to get his way in. Oh, doesn't quite punish the whip 5C though. Gets thrown. Wakes Chip up death. into the snowflake. Now, is Linkster gonna switch back to Paprika here? Or is he just gonna let it rock? He does. This is a three out of five set. He does have some more games to work with. He's going right back in. Right back in with Stronghoof. Three out of five. Oh. Oh, doesn't quite have enough reach to hit with the two C, but gets the command grab. Flares it behind Better. Tries to go for command grab again. Better takes the hit. Another command grab. Blocks him down. Gets hit with the 5C. Okay. Which blocks her back into the corner. Good defensive play from Linkster. Once again, all the space all the... in the world to work with. Tries to throw her. Anti hears her as she tries to apply projectiles from the sky. The axe is still there off screen. There it is. Just the knockdown. Ooh. Gets the overhead. Reset. This could be death. Drops the combo. Doesn't matter. Once again. again. Jumps over the DP. Linkster right. has great awareness of any Velvet that wants to DP. Absolutely. Round two. Fight. Immediately starts with the axe. Let's better take the hit there. Gets his way in. Solarnia wants to fight her way out of the corner, but links to position himself in a way that won't let her jump over. Hits with the axe follow-up. I mean, the, the, the hammer follow-up. Apologies. Gonna get the axe here. There's axe follow -up. the axe follow-up. Ooh, the patience from Linkster. Fortunately, the patient says just let him to be out. Oh, the wind followed with the anti-air two A's. And that patience, once again, is actually paying off. There's the shards. Jumps again. over the DP again. The DP. Every single one hard called out. Going right to level one. This should be death. Yes. Links to going up 2-1 against Solarnia. I think that's that, because this is not Loser's Finals. Oh, is that that? This is Loser's Semis. Oh, it's Loser's Semis. Yeah. Yeah, two out of three.
Linkster takes it. <laughs> the subtle pop off. The subtle pop off. I mean, when when you realize that after the fact, you weren't are, you aren't ready. Like the the, the adrenaline. You isn't don't pumping. have the pop off locked in yeah, yet. You don't quite have the adrenaline in your soul just yet. So you you need that second of realization to make sure that like yes, in fact, I did win. But wow, Salarnia finally being knocked out by Linkster, and his first offline event. Good stuff to Salarnia, yeah. though, representing Incredible the Velvet play. play. Regardless, but what that means now is we have our top three. We do have our top three. We have Linkster versus Asiago coming up next. And we have MPK waiting in grand finals oh, that's for somebody one you, of them. That's somebody you don't want to see waiting for you when they have an extra set to work with in grand finals. And an extra hat to work and with. And an extra hat. All the hats. So many hats. Well, he's playing Texas. He needs he needs two hats. He's a very he's very big. How many gallons do you think that foam hat? At least ten, if I, not twenty. It's foam. I don't think it's gonna do much. You baited me. <laughs> yeah, I, I I was I was talking about just the, the the carrying capacity. I didn't know we were talking about fluid dynamics about the hat right now. That's not fair. That hat's made out of sponge. Yes, it is. It is most certainly made out of absorbent foam. Linkster Asiago. Wow. Now, if Linkster does not stay on Stronghold, this is a Paprika Mirror in the Losers Finals. I'm trying to think of what would make Linkster choose to not play Paprika in this matchup. I'm going to say nothing. I think this is a pretty fair bet. It's definitely... It feels like he's going to have to take the Paprika because yeah. Linkster has been playing for an incredibly long time. Yeah, and like... And has effectively trained up all of the Paprikas under him. Unless you have like a very specific matchup reason to not play the Paprika, I think he's going to pick Paprika. It made sense to me against Velvet. I, I feel like that was a good call, and obviously it paid off because he's sitting in the Losers Finals. But... Against, against Paprika, I think I think Strong is just a bit too slow. I think you're going to want your, you know, another Paprika to fight against that. If those are your two options, I think the mirror is the way to go. Paprika. <laughs> He's thinking about it. Paprika. Think about something. Yep, the Paprika locked in. Oh. Paprika. <laughs> yep. We are going to get a button check first, so this may not be his final choice. But I think he's going to stick with the Paprika. I am also going to agree with that. I don't think he has a reason yet to switch, but that is always a yet. Yeah. Knowing how the TFH they, community works. They both the just threw pots. Yes, they did. And I, and I know one of them was random. Yes. Yeah, they're probably just going to hit rematch right here. Yep, they pounded it. Yep, they're going right in. Round one. Backdash. Backdash 5B? No, no, just 5B. Just 5B. We're getting bold with our choices. Ooh, the, the counter max hit range. 2B. The max range lick. Very What's nice placement of the jump B there <laughs> and using the cross up jump C again to bring him back into the corner. Gets the kiss. Brock coming down. Stagger pressure from Linkster. Jumps over the throw attempt. Gets the empty jump low. Oh, throws him out of the cart Man A. Out of the cart A. That was kiss, wasn't it? That was kiss. Oh, Kabang grabbed him out of the cart A. <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate. Linkster was ready. Ooh, the, the 2C that went right under the broccoli. Amazing spacing from Asiago. Presence of mind. The meaty broccoli. The jump back A. Every player in top 8 has like known exactly when their opponent wants to try to jump out of the corner and has met them in the sky. This might be death? No, not quite. Asiago doesn't have a round yet. I don't think he's going to spend the meter. Nope. There takes it is. with the meaty broccoli. I think that was back-to-back -back reversal perfect. I think so. Perfect. 
I mean, that's Paprika playing that for That is you. exactly how this matchup should go. Yeah. The 5P again. Jumping is the block from Asiago. Patience from Linkster not press the button on the approach. Doesn't quite get the punish on the E, but does manage to get the mix-up with the empty jump low. Reset into the, the counter hit card A. Oh, yep. Asiago saying, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm done with all these constant resets. I got meter. I'm busting out. We got a basket in play in the corner. Oh, Super's right back, right through the kiss. We got two baskets, two baskets in play in the corner. Now we got one again. Basket burst. Good RNG this time. Decent damage. Going to eat all of his gifts. Gets basket bursted back. It was completely raw. That did a lot of damage, almost evening up the life. Ooh, 5B, nothing. The cross-up jump C once again. Does a lot of heavy lifting for Paprika as a character. And this should be it for Linkster. It's over now. One up on Linkster here. What a match. He's vibing. Like we said, it. Link Linkster has been so relaxed despite all the pressure being put on him right now to perform. Round one. Fight. Instant block. Nice. Gets the cross up jump C. This should take him all the way to corner. Nope. Gonna put out the apple to catch the back roll. I like it. Push blocks from Asiago. Very patient, neutral. Just checking each other. Instant blocks on the card A. Links are getting a lot up. of success from this short hop cross up jump C. A and another short hop jump C going right through the throw attempt. Linkster's presence of mind to neutral jump when he needs to is incredible. But Asiago fighting right back with the Hot exact the same. Miss. Got it. Mentality of I need to know when I want to press to get out. Absolutely. Once again, the soft knockdown OTG combos. Launch into into uh, gift. Apple sitting there. It's over now. Game one goes to Linkster. Round one. Round one. Sorry. Round two. Ooh, the card A start. Don't Beats start. The... Counter hit card A. Asiago has noticed that Linkster keeps opting for these 5B round starts. Finally chose an option that beats it clean. The counter hit 5CC. That's big damage. Good starter. Gonna get the flop. Mid screen. What's the mix? Back up low. Linkster manages to counter throw him in the middle of his pressure. Kiss. Another kiss attempt. Super out from Asiago. Gonna put the basket down. Are we gonna burst? Nope, here's the there burst. It is. Yep. One round each. Final Ooh, look at the focus of Asiago. The meter difference is so stark right yeah, now. Yeah, Linkster's sitting on so much meter. Any Three hit could bars. be hard knockdown. Any hit could be a back basket burst setup. At any point, he could just go into level three. Ooh, gets out of the, the, the pot of plant setup. Does get punished for it. Asiago being down on meter meant nothing. He's holding his own and making use of what he has. And oh. he's doing a great job with the frame traps here. Oh, counter throw from Asiago. Pulls him into it in order to cause a hard knockdown. Oh, the flop. We're going to see a full punish from Linkster here. This could be the opening he needs. There's going to be a lot of damage, a lot of corner carry. Here comes the basket. Oh, two whiff throws. Okay. Mostly apples. Oh, gets counter hit with the 6C. This should be it for Asiago. Flop super should be enough. Yes. There we are. I want to go back for a second. When Linkster put out the basket and whiffed two throws during that time, I wonder what he was trying to go for there. Was he trying to super imagine, again? I can only imagine it was Round one. manual timing for some kind of setup. It's either that or he was trying to super and was, was missing the input. Either way. Linkster getting the first hit here, putting Asiago in the corner, applying the, the flower pot. Two hits. Impressive. Oh, 
Managing to keep Asiago Another here in the corner. Flop. No, no punish. punish on it. But, but punishes the, the throw attempt again. Once again, it seems like every single time Asiago wants to go for throw, Laster's ready with a short hop jump C. And all of these are doing so much damage. Puts out the, the cinnamon roll. Hits him low. Gets the stagger into Broccoli. Cart C. Not enough to kill here. Blocks the Cart C. No punish because he's on top of his own Broccoli. Asiago instant blocked the hit of the Cart C that would have chipped him out. Oh my god. Oh, 5B. This time from Asiago. Winning out round start. Gonna push Linkster into the corner this time. Now I have your power. <laughs> now I've got your power. Brock coming out from both. Oh, just runs up and throws him. Gets the Not stagger. taking the full corner carry. Oh, controller Ooh. disconnected. Whose side was it on? What are they gonna do? What's the ruling here? That's Asiago's side. That's Asiago's side? Oh yeah, it looks like he had wire issues. Oh, you hate to see it. So is he gonna take the game? They're talking it out right now. They're definitely gonna run it back. Okay. So Linkster took the game. gonna take it here. I, I respect the hell out of that. That puts him up 2-1. Let's hope that Asiago's controller doesn't have that problem again. That would be so unfortunate. The last thing you want to see in uh, the top three of combo breakers controller issues. Asiago back into it as if oh, it was nothing. Great back dash punish on the 5B with. The run up confirm after the roll. The grab off the tech roll. Stands his ground. Just throws him out of it. Here come the short hop jump sees. And, and one again. more for good measure. Oh, again, through the throw attempt from Asiago. That's got to do a lot to your mental. Linkster has been on point, baiting out things with his neutral jumps. Okay. Good pressure from Asiago. Hits him low. To get the soft knockdown. Blocks the cart C. Big Tell punish from Asiago. Wasn't enough to chip. Living on a single pixel. Oh, he's got to insta block this. Oh, no. He gets hit with the counter super. Unfortunately, already in some kind of animation for something. Didn't mm -hmm. have time to get out of it. Match point for Linkster here. Back dashes away from the cart A. Get another throw attempt. Another short hop jump C. I can't believe how often Linkster has gotten this. And again with the short hop cross up jump C. Gonna have land in time to block? Yes. Going from coast to coast. Linkster sitting on life and meter lead here. Oh, not quite in throw range. No punish from Linkster. Asiago Very good gets the flop. flop. Decision there. Patient from both players. Oh, the counter pipe B poke. Oh, gets hit with the short hop low again. Oh, Linkster mashing against it. Even though he's got the life lead, he really can't afford to make mistakes like that. He's going to get countered here for so much damage. Basket or just hard, hard knocked out? Oh, no yeah, he doesn't have a meter. meter. No meter. Dodging the broccoli. And the jump C. Linkster has taken it. Oh, basket? No! He could just let the super run out. Oh, he gets it off the basket first, though. Just enough damage. Good stuff to Linkster. And now Linkster is waiting to fight MPK in grand finals of Combo Breaker 2023. What an incredible run this has been for everyone here, but definitely for Linkster. Oh, yeah, you can see he's, he's shaking. He's stressed. <laughs> the stoicism coming back into it. Oh, taking is, some breathers. This is going to be such a good match. I'm so ready to see MPK versus Linkster. MPK, veteran of playing both online and offline. Linkster, his first offline match. But that match will have to come to you after this break. Stay tuned.
Yo, you see that overhead? Oh my goodness. Wow. Nobody was blocking that. Ooh, I anyway. definitely got hit. That Ooh. was wild, man. These matches have been great. Oh, absolutely. You know what? We're about to take a quick break here, and Combo Breaker 2023 is still going on. Uh, don't worry. This time, we're going to order for yeah, it. Yeah, we got you. Don't, don't even worry about Be it. Be right back. Don't forget to head on over to the Combo Breaker shop to check out all the amazing merch. But don't delay, because that merch is going to go quick. Welcome back to Grand Finals of Them's Fighting the Herds at Combo Breaker 2023. Up next, we got MPK, MPK versus Linkster. Linkster. Ooh. MPK, veteran of the scene, veteran of events, veteran of doing basically everything within the fighting game community. Mm -hmm. TOing, setting up events, entering. Runs, runs the Fight <laughs> Fanatics group. One of, our most, one of our most committed groups of fans. One of our of most fans. committed groups of fans. Uh, and Linkster, longtime player, first time finally out at an offline event. And there he is, Grand Finals. He took a long break, too, from, uh, from competing. And then he's recently come back. And to see him take that big break, reset his mental, come back in, and just make it to Grand Finals of Combo Breaker, which is consistently our biggest offline stage, is ridiculous. With very little difficulty as well. Yeah, no. I mean, that match against Bubble Boots was rough. Like, that was, that was a hard-fought battle. But after that... He's just made it right here. He is right with MPK. Oh my God. And MPK is no stranger to this. He's, he's won events of this size before. And we got Strong Hoof on Linkster's side. His button check. Oh, it's button check. Oh, I hope he stays with Strong Hoof though. I think that that's the good play. We're two burly dudes. <laughs> we want to do things for you. We're going to see switch character. No, going right rematch. into it. Rematch. Texas versus Stronghoof. Battle the of the dads. Battle of the dads. The two newest characters to the game going at it. Grand finals combo breaker. Oh, the hammer. Into the hammer. The hammer coming out. Ooh, the air reset. Oh, no axe available to him. Follow-up was still out. Oh, doesn't quite get the, the tipper on the uh, the bell. Oh, he's trying to put out the, the, uh, the ice shards. The ice shards try and take back neutral, but unfortunately, Stomp covering all of it. Restand, what's the mix? 2B. Oh, the timing to get that stomp confirmed. Unfortunately, misses the 2D. Doesn't get the restand off of it. But still able to keep pressure here. Slides under the jump D. Oh, get, oh he goes for the, the hammer follow-up. I don't think he expected it to hit because he went for command grab. Oh, gets hit with the, the 5C. No full combo from MPK. That could have been really scary. Better back for usage. Oh, oh, gets the max the crank oh, grab. the max range 5D pull in to tick throw reset. Just like old times. That's MPK's ability to just find his way into your brain and say, "Hey, you got to worry about this now." Yeah, yeah. And, and now he's, he's never gonna do it. Now again. he's never gonna do it again. <laughs> he's never gonna represent it. Okay, gets that 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 ice axe down. Is he gonna use it for follow up here? Yep. 2C into ice, uh, into ice slick. Uses it to make the shards. the shards. Gonna have to lose the corner from this uh, jump C conversion though. Perfectly fine, has the wind available. Doesn't quite have the height from out of the jungle decay in order to hit the, the jump C, but manages to hit with Vetter. The tag team duo. Gets the, the, the Big 6A, 6A against That's the jump perfect. back. Links to responding in kind. Whew. That was perfect. Final round. Fight. MPK has a lot of meter. This boat is quite literally not big enough for the two of them. Doesn't quite get another magic stock. Drops the combo. 
better almost aligned for another confirm. Gets the command, command grab, grab instead. from Stronghoof side. Tex managed to get his way out. Gets the, the cross, cross up jump, jump C. C. MPK has three bars. Cross Links up. are very close. Air to air cross up jump C is like one of Stronghoof's best starters, and you never get to see it because it's so situational. Speaking of cross up jump C's, Links are able to block the one from MPK. Level three for both players. Available on, on, on the dock. Oh. Oh, and there here it comes is! Wake up level three from MPK. Oh no! Wakes up with the level one to take everything. Right out to level of it. two. The taunt into level one. Oh so my god! So remember what I said about MPK getting into your head. He's not in Linkster's head at all. Everyone has switched heads and are in <laughs> each other's heads. We got multi-head drifting. <laughs> Oh my god, the confidence from Linkster to not only super through, see that he got the confirm, but go into level two and taunt to put himself right in MPK's head. No, I, I bet MPK respects it though. Game recognized game, for sure. Oh, better get Kicking dumped. Kicking better. Mr. President, get down. Oh, doesn't get punished for putting out the hammer. Dong, dong, restand, goes for the 6A, expecting Linkster to jump out. Oh, it doesn't quite block the uh, the jump rope. Dong, dong, dong. Bing bong. Doesn't punish the, the whiff jump, uh, the whiff run C. That's so scary about blocking Texas run C is the way it pushes you. It usually puts him in the perfect position to apply pressure when you land, but the links are somehow staying alive, fighting back. MPK if decided to go for the stagger into command grab. And Linkster there knows he does the unsafe arsenal C, uses the better Irish whip to keep himself safe. Goes for throw. Oh, but gets caught counter hit with the 2A from MPK. I feel that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I feel right now, too. Round two. Fight. <laughs> oh, MPK pokes out. Linkster showing some aggression with the immediate dash in slide. Soft knockdown. Uses wake up better to anti air MPK's Texas. Axe is out. Axe is used. I slick. Uses it to make ice shards. MPK knows those ice shards don't have an active hitbox until the, on, they're on the way down. Manages to poke his way out. That's safe. Oh, Throws him out of the run. Out of the armored run. Smart decision. Unfortunately, MPK still has the ability to utilize all this. The sneaky cross up jump C into the corner. MPK definitely is putting the level three on stack. Never mind. Here comes the level one, level two, probably another level one Jumps after this. Jump back. Yep, level one. Is this enough? Is enough? Yes. Texas damage. Efficient meter usage. One Absolutely wonderful for both players. MPK in winner side. If he loses this set, he's got another another uh, three out of five set to work with. But. Linkster, coming from the loser's side, only has this one to work with. Back dashes away from the 2B. Oh, the axe hits. Uses the wind to stay in the, in the uh, to keep him in the corner. Puts the axe out. No axe usage. MPK jumps out. Good patience from Linkster, waiting for the perfect time to poke out with a 2A. Oh, Vendor's coming at you. Putting out the shield. And then Piquet just waits it out and hits it with a 2B. Gonna put Linkster in the corner here. Restand him. Doesn't quite fall for the tick throw, push blocks him out. Linkster starting to get aggressive, trying to use the better to keep him safe. And unfortunately, MPK able to push out. Drop from MPK allows Linkster to slowly start working his way out of the corner. Jumps over all the two Cs. 
this should be death? Yes. Yes, there we are. Links are taking another round to his side. He's vibing. I dig it. I like that round start 5B. Really good button for strong hook. Triple ball. bell. Restand. 5A to both set up a take grab and catch the back dash. Rope again. Barely manages to duck under the better lariat. The, the, the big cross, cross up jump C into the tick command grab. Fast round from MPK's Texas. Look at the meter. Oh no. We got a lot. We got a lot on both here. sides. Oh, the, the, the counter hit jump C. What a good starter. I wonder what MPK was going for. Potentially a 6A to try and catch him. Big damage. Doesn't quite get the knockdown, but it's fine. Keeps the corner pressure. Does the, uh, the Arsenal C, which is unsafe. Tried to cover it with the Irish whip again. Gets counter poked by MPK's 2B. Both players sitting on three bars. Oh, the counter hit 5C. Oh, There's tries the level to punish, three. he gets level three. Put him in the sky, put him in the ground. MPK is a master of finding those situations to condition the opponent and landing those level threes. Play, Play TFH. TFH. With the Texas pin. Ready? Home field advantage for Stronghoof. <laughs> oh, goes for the command grab, just barely out of range though. Doesn't quite get the 5D after the 5C. Good punish from Linkster. 2A starter though, not gonna have a lot of JD to work with. Puts out the ice select, knows about it. But applies the ice shards. Tries to go for command grab again, covers it with better. Big damage. Restand. Restand. Lynch doesn't fall for the, the mix. Air blocks. Puts out the slick. The stomps once again. Keeping Linkster from Bing throwing ball. out any kind of ice shards to try and take over the neutral. Tries once again. again. More bells. The bells are calling. Level one. That's that. What, an, what a dominating round from MPK. And MPK is on tournament point for the first time in this set. Round two. Fight. Oh, gets caught low. Tries to approach and gets hit with the, the double 2B. Oh, doesn't quite hit the 6D though. Ooh. Linkster's waiting now after those safe run C enders. Oh, backdash is all the way through the jump C. That's so many iframes. Gonna go for the restand here. There yep. it is. Nice patient play from Linkster. Didn't take the bait on anything. Keat went for the, the two jabs, made it look like a tick throw attempt. Tried to backdash through the punish from Linkster. Linkster wasn't home, wasn't biting. Gonna get the knockdown. Put out the ice lick. All the weapons are still out. Gets the jump. See? A lot of damage. There that Gets is. the kill. Linkster staying alive. Taking rounds for himself. Trying to delay Keat as much as possible and bring this into a different set. Final round. Fight. Ooh, the counter hit 2B. No full combo. Ooh, hits with better. 
Man uses that in order to make his way in. Gets the knockdown into Ice Slick. Tries to do the cross-up jump B. Still anti-airs. Gets hit with the super low jump C setup. Linkster's not flinching a bit. Tries to get the uh, the axe to do the ice shatter, but ice was gone by then. Wind. Unfortunately, both weapons out. Can't really do a weapon follow up here. Back to mid screen. Keep showing armored run break. Linkster getting a lot of mileage out of these two beasts. Random level Ooh. three doesn't quite catch him. That was smart. That was good to react to him doing something, but unfortunately he was in the air. Couldn't hit him with the level three, but still putting him in the corner. No meter to work with here for Linkster though. Gets hit with the falling jump B. Could this be it? Could MPK take it off of this mix here? Putting Linkster in the corner. Gets hit with the run C. Big hit. This should be the meter dump here. Oh, he's gonna do the level two. The taunt back, level one. And with that, MPK is your combo breaker 2023 TFH champion. Good stuff to MPK. Well done to Linkster. Very respectable second place with his, his strong hoof and paprika. Absolutely. MPK came up to me the other day and he said, I want a Texas sweep. Well, he got it. He's got it. He's got it. There he is. Oh, he's so happy. And the walls came down. And the walls came down. Wonderful display from everybody in top eight. Absolutely brilliant. Multiple different characters. Just a wonderful showing from the community. So that means tied for seventh, you have Black Atlas and Delone. For fifth, you have Ranger Doge and Bubble Boots. And fourth, you had Solarnia and uh, <laughs> uh, you had Solarnia. And who else was in there? That wasn't Delone. Who was in? Who was in fourth? <laughs> we are. Please hold. Please hold. <laughs> I'm having trouble counting right now. I, <laughs> you had the bracket up. Oh, amazing work from everybody in top eight. Absolutely incredible play from everybody. Oh, so these players played out of their minds. I was... Every single match, I mean, my, my favorite is still Bubble Boots versus Linkster, but all these matches were amazing. Just players showing everything they got with this game, and the love the community has for this game is what keeps it going at all times. Absolutely. And in order to keep that love going, we got something coming up for you right now. Check it out. Nidra is our third season pass character coming out later this year. She is really, really cool. <laughs> Very cool character. A lot of interesting mechanics coming in. You're not, you're not ready. You're not ready. You're not ready. This is definitely, I mean, every DLC character we've had is super unique, but this might be the most unique character that we've had so far. 100%. For sure. It's, we've, we've always pulled things from all of our knowledge of fighting games in order to make our characters. Mm -hmm. This is no different. Absolutely but we are so happy to we are we are so happy to see the these high level players come through 
put on a great show for everybody at Combo Breaker. We're excited to see what they do next. You know, we always got more. We got more content coming out. We're we're excited to see what people uh, do coming out with these new characters. I mean, Grand Finals was our two newest characters. It 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 couldn't have happened a better way. Correct. It really couldn't have. Both players playing out of their minds. I mean, it's it shows you that like they they're both long term play long time players that have played a bunch of characters. You know. MPK played uh, Arizona and uh, Oleander, mostly Oleander, but started with Arizona. Linkster's been uh, Paprika his entire career, finally switching to Stronghoof, and they, they did not play either of those characters in Grand Finals, opting for the new characters, and it's so cool to see them adapt to new stuff as it comes out. It's always interesting seeing people who are dedicated to a character go, I want that now. I want that now, I yeah. want that. I see what they have. I want that for me. Exactly. And we are so excited to show you the top eight ceremony for TFH. Every, every single player did amazing here. So up here at seventh place, we have Black Atlas. Also tied for seventh, we have Delone. Fifth place, we have Rainzer. And also at fifth place, we have Bubble Boots. In fourth, we have Salarnia. In third place, we have Asiago. Second place, we have Linkster. And your champion for Combo Breaker 2023 is MPK. When did you get the cowboy hat? You have more hats? You're just winning hats now. Just winning hats. Good stuff to every single person on stage. You all played out of your minds. Absolutely incredible showing for top eight and top 16 and just the tournament in general. Yes, this was, I mean, I say this every year, but this was my favorite tournament we've had so far. They just keep getting they better. They keep getting better. Thank you so much for joining us for TFH top eight and top 16, and top 16 at Combo Breaker. This. It was, it was such a great way to start the day. We're so happy you decided to join us and watch with us. Coming up on this channel next will be God of Rock. I believe so, yes. So w be sure to watch that. You know, another, another game from Modus. Uh, we're so excited to be sharing the booth with them this, uh, this year. 100%. And stay tuned. That game's awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. Yep, yep God, God, God of Rock, Rock is, coming, is up coming up right next. So be sure to stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Oreo. This is Cam. We'll see you later.